Hello and welcome to Seoul for the second round of the IFSC Boulder World Cup. You've joined us pretty much in the middle of a pop concert. <laughs> My name is Matt Groom and I'm joined, thank goodness, by Alana Yip. Alana, it, it seems like it's been a while since you've been in the commentary box. Unfortunately, you've been uh, getting through into semi-finals and doing really well, but it, it's, it's nice to have you back with me. <laughs> it's nice to be back, although I'd rather be climbing. Absolutely. Okay. Of course you would. Well, look, it, it's a pretty special stadium we're here in today, uh, returning from last year, the Waterfall Stadium, although the Waterfall, which is currently going on right now, does switch on and off. Uh, that seems to have a mind of its own. Now, Alana, we've, we've got to talk about what's going on during this, uh, this semi-final, because it's kind of a semi-final, kind, kind of, of a, a final. final. <laughs> a semi-slash-final. Exactly. So it is a bit confusing, but don't worry if you're watching at home, we will explain everything. And let's have a little look at what happened earlier on today and yesterday, uh, because we had a rain delay, basically. I turned up in the stadium, absolutely <laughs> poured with rain. And uh, that meant that we had to delay some of the proceedings. And Alana, obviously you were in that situation. I was luckily in the hotel. I was pretty grateful to not be mail and stuck in ISO as they went rain delay after rain delay. Well, look, let's have a look at what happened during the qualification rounds, uh, because we did manage to do both of them eventually, which yes. was good. Women's yesterday afternoon, men's this morning. So hopefully in a sec we will see the video of that, because there was lots of action taking place out on the wall. And here we go. Last week's finalist, Ayala Karem, was in form again topping out all of her group's boulders with two flashes along the way and goes into semi-finals in first place. Natalia Grossman put her disappointment at not making finals in Japan behind her and is in the top 10, but we wait to see if a nasty fall will take her out of the competition. Her teammate and now Boulder gold medalist Brooke Rabatou will climb again tomorrow, as will Hannah Moyle, another medalist from Japan who flashed everything but the final tricky Boulder. Stasha Gale got her season going after failing to make semis last week. She seems to like climbing in Korea and was back and looking determined. As was Oriane Berton, who will be looking for a better result than at the last competition. Sofia Yokoyama got her highest ever finish at a World Cup in Japan and was looking to repeat this feat in Korea. Let's find out more from Sofia. Um, the borders are really cool. I really like the setting. It's all, I mean, different style, different moves. Um, and yeah, holds felt sticky, but skin isn't so sticky, unfortunately. But yeah, the borders in general re were really nice and really fun. Well, I know you'll bounce back for the next World Cup. Keep on that semi-final form. I uh, look forward to seeing you climb again soon. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Home crowd favourite Sheon So gave it everything, but it wasn't to be. Let's hear more from her. Sheon, you are surrounded by fans at the moment. Everyone wants your autograph because you are so famous in your home country. Is it nice to be climbing in front of them? Do you feel their support? Yeah, I felt pretty supportive from my home fans, so it was really nice to feel it. But I didn't show my best, so yeah, it was frustrating. Thank you very much. Yeah. Today, the weather has improved, which means we can run the men's qualifier. But because of that schedule change, tonight's final is actually a semi-final round. Tomoa Narasaki qualified once again inside of the top 10. He struggled on Boulder 1, like most of the athletes, but flashed three out of the next four to cement his place. Although he was out-qualified by his teammate, Do Hyun Lee, Zhong Wonchon is in tonight's final round. He was close on the slab, just dropping that final move. Well, that's the story of the qualification rounds. The athletes are about to be announced onto the stage. And Alana, this is a good time to explain what is happening. So, we had to cancel the main finals, which means we're running the semi-finals as a finals. So, exactly the same semi-final format uh, as the athletes start off bold at number one, but we're still giving away podium places. We're still getting results based on the semi-final. And we were discussing before we started how this actually might help some of the athletes. Yeah, it takes uh, some of the pressure of finals off. In finals, it's just one person on the wall at a time. 
it can be a lot climbing up there in front of however many fans are in person and however many of you are watching live online or uh, on replay online. But I think we determined that they've actually used the finals boulders. As, so 20 athletes are going to get to climb on the finals boulder, boulders. Yeah, that is pretty special. We might have a scenario where someone wins a World Cup without having technically climbed in a final, which is kind of mad when you think about it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Well, we are underway. That is Erin uh, McNeese from the uh, GB team and then Simon Lorenzi on the left-hand side. So the women start off with a slab with those 360 holds, which were pretty famous on social media after the cup in Japan. And the men, Alana, we were both looking at those shiny blue style uh, volumes, which look super nasty, don't they? Yeah, um, we couldn't get that close to them, but they look much slipperier than a regular dual tex. Yeah, there is a little like, jib built into them with a bit of friction, but not a Just a tiny lot. bit, yeah. So it looks the like glass. Yeah, it really is like that. You can see it shining in the light. Whoa. It looks horrible. Wow, what a crazy boulder. Jump into a one-foot slab balance. And then you have to step over onto a tiny little foothold there. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here to do those descriptions. That's spicy. That is exactly what it is. And we were chatting about how hard the men's quali slab was on that piece of wall. Yes. No one doing it. No one did it. And then the similar boulder on the other side of the wall for the other group, only two people did, I think. So the slab's very difficult here in South Korea. That's the 360 holds. And you can see the, the bit that's shining in the light, that is the no text. And the bit that isn't, that is the texture. So although a lot has been said about it being hard to see and hard to, to read, really, I think it is quite obvious. Especially when you're the athlete, you're right underneath it, you're going to be able to tell. All right, so Siemens on to that horrible foothold. Oh. Bobbling with the left foot. Yeah, it's a nasty, the, the blue volume looks big, but it's not as big in real life. And Erin is now working her way towards the zone hold, which she gets. Nice. But at this point, the feet sort of run out in the slab. Yes, so did the hand. So does that, yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, we, I spent a long time looking at this, and I reckon it's probably a layback using the zone, perhaps, but... Yeah, I think you... Yeah, you definitely have to make your way up that big triangular volume, uh, but not totally sure how, and in what order. Do you go hand first or foot first, like Aaron was trying there? That is a great shot of Siemens' foot, showing how small oh. it is. You said it was dynamic to the zone, and it does appear to be a bit like yeah, that. Yeah, a bit of a dynamic stand up on that foothold, and then I think catch the zone and right hand palm on that uh, flat hold underneath. All right, so two slabs to start things off. And it's interesting, I was reading a few uh, comments about a slab to start a competition. Some people saying it might sort of kill the mood of a comp because it's a slow start, mm -hmm. which I do appreciate, but it's also like. <laughs> It's quite a fascinating way to begin a competition because the athlete, again, they come out, they realize it's a slab, they have to like calm down. It's not a physical boulder. Yep. It's so. a pretty common root setter trope <laughs> to get, you know, you get all psyched up in ISO, pulling hard moves, and then you have to get right calm down to... To do these kind of moves. I mean, look at this, it's a, it's a nasty like kick style move, this. Working her feet up. Oh, that could be interesting. Yeah, for a high toe hook. Yeah, we talk about pressure. For some of these athletes coming out, I mean, Erin, for example, like really cool that she made a semi final in the first place, but suddenly Amazing, yeah. it becomes the final. So perhaps the pressure is ramped up for some of them instead of being easier. It's going to be very interesting to yeah, see. Yeah, probably it's a little higher pressure than a regular semi final and less pressure than a regular final, so. I don't think that was any zones for the first two. No, Erin got the zone. Oh, Erin got the zone, yeah. okay. Well, Erin as well, uh, this is her PB. So last uh, result was 45th. So this is- Is this her second World Cup? I will check that. <laughs> it's certainly up there. Well, that is the start list, as we can see. Kylie Cullen up next for the women. And remember, the athletes come out in the uh, opposite order. So they down towards the bottom, Ayala Karem. She is uh, qualified in first position, she'll be out last. Yes, confirm. This is Erin's second World Cup, her first being last week. Awesome. We've seen so many debut uh, climbers at the moment. It's really cool to see. It feels like, I hate to say changing the guard, but 
When you consider the last 17 World Cups have been won by Yanni Garnbrett and Natalia Grossman, and then last week we saw Brooke win it, mm -hmm. maybe I can say that. Who knows? We'll yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. That is Sean Bailey on the slab, and there is Kylie Kellen on the right hand side. All American contingent here. All American and Ooh. huge support last week in the finals for Team America when Brooke won that gold. Yeah, that was incredible. Was. I had Quinn next to me, uh, <laughs> which is um, Brooke's teammate. Oh, brilliant stand up from Sean. He held that balancing point for a second. Yeah, and Quinn, I could feel how nervous she was. It was like coming through her into me. <laughs> and I got really nervous as well at that point. So I, I think I got as emotional as everyone else in the stadium. I definitely shouldn't have done. I was trying to stay neutral, but it didn't work. So here is Kylie working away, kind of a dynamic start to this slab into a press with the left hand. Interesting, so Kylie's doing that differently than the way uh, Aaron was trying it. Aaron was trying to keep her left foot on the triangle and stab her right foot back to the half moon start hold. Uh, and Kylie's trying to hop her left foot over to the, the big rectangular hold. So here Sean goes again. He was close to the balancing point before. <laughs> and actually, same. Sean's doing it very differently than Simon. Um, whereas Simon was trying to jump on a left foot that was parallel to the wall, Sean's trying to keep his left foot perpendicular. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. Yeah, you can see that. He's almost going for like a toe drag to keep himself on there. Yeah, that, that look, it, the shot makes it look like quite a big volume, but it's it's a weird shape volume as well. It kind of, bits of it are flattish and bits of it are rounded. It's very hard to nail the point you've got to hit with your feet. Oh yeah, and it's very low profile. Extremely, yeah. And that is our crowd there. There is Team USA looking on a little bit nervously as Kylie gets underway for Team USA. It's not a lot to stop your body sort of almost barn dooring off that kind of a move. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Flip back and forth to athletes falling off slabs. Yeah, I think for Kylie to do it that way, she has to be a little bit more delicate in her jump up. So she's almost stopping on the feet and the hand is just a little bit for balance. Interestingly, if these boulders were in a final, we'd have four minutes to do it. But with this, we only we have five minutes to do it. Which yeah, but two minutes beforehand to look at each boulder. Oh, true. Yeah, this is. Oh, yeah. Forget all these Six things. total, kind of. Is this kind of changing the whole style of it? It's, yeah, it's super interesting actually. And the way that finals boulders typically are a little bit more complex than semis boulders because of that two-minute time period for observation, where you observe with other people. These athletes have to figure out these boulders all on their own. Yeah, that's a very good point. All right, well, everything's new, as we've discovered. And if you've just turned on your sets, then uh, you are joining us in the semi-finals slash finals. So due to adverse weather, we had to bump things along in the schedule. Therefore, the semi-final has become the final. So that's what you're watching. And really, you just get more bang for your buck because you get to see 20 athletes on these boulders and more time on them. So, you know, no complaining, please. <laughs> And we still have a podium at the end of it, so we're still going for that gold medal. Kylie once again with less than a minute left. Yeah, it's interesting, Kylie's tried the same way every time. She's really close. I'm sure it feels every attempt like, oh, she'll be the next time. Well, so, oh, this time Sean stands up. Oh no, his right foot looks a tiny bit wet under the toe. It does, doesn't it? I mean, mate, that might be where he was slipping off and he's just scraped a bit of rubber away, possibly. I really hope so, because that hole oh, is so small. Oh, it does look wet, you're right, because there was a mark left. But I don't know where he would have got wet, because it has not rained all day. Oh. Well, that's the end for Sean. He eventually got the balancing point, couldn't do the next move. Unfortunately, still no zone. Zone. So that men's slab, again, that piece of wall proving to be nasty for all of the competitors throughout the weekend. It. Well, let's have a look at the scores. Early days, of course. Uh, no, sorry, it's not scores. This is the um, the starting list. And we've seen Simon, Simon and Sean. And we come down. Toby Roberts' first boulder final. Of course, he won silver in Edinburgh for the lead final. But yeah, that was awesome on home soil. Yeah, uh, well... 
sort of home soil. I know what you mean. Scottish people would kill you for saying that. Sorry. But uh, you, are, you are kind of correct, yes. GB. GB. I'm so GB sorry soil. to everybody. No, it's fine. I'm Scottish, so you're allowed to get away with it. Are you? I'm half Scottish. You're hot. Okay, you're more Scottish than me then. I was trying to, I was trying to like look impressive then. You've just beaten me to it. Right, Seaman on M2. Tricky start, really physical and spread out as you can <gasps> see in a nasty style fall. Arms whirling in the air as he slips down. And there is Erin on women's two. Now that left hand she's got looks good, but there's very little friction to it. So that big cross move it looks like now, it's going to be hard to hold. It's a huge throw that. Wow. So yeah, that left hand, if you're doing a throw that big and the left hand's bad and you've got no feet, it's, it's a complex series of moves you've got to do to get into that next set of volumes. And there is Ritsu Kayotani from Japan. This looks like it's his first World Cup. Yeah, Team Japan again just showing how deep their squad is in. Anon Matsufuji. Sorry, I was wrong. This is his second World Cup. He competed last week in Hatchet. Yeah, we saw the rise of Serato uh, last week. Yes. He came out of just nowhere, really. <laughs> uh, got the bronze medal. We interviewed him, and that interview will be coming soon to our channel. So do make sure you subscribe if you haven't. But Anon is into the zone now. And she made it work the way that, that Kylie was just falling just a little bit off. Now this is the bit I want to see, is how on earth you turn this, because I think you've got to move it towards the left. Oh no, okay, she's laybacking it on the right hand side of the volume. The chalk's on both sides. Yeah. Well, your thumbs have to be chalked too. But I think you're right, eventually, oh, like she's thinking about, you have to turn it. Yeah, because the zones, sorry, the top is all the way to the left. And you can't just jump to that. Now I thought oh, this wow. might be like face plant city here, but it looks fairly solid. She walks herself delicately up. We could see our first top hit. We do. Nice. Wow. And on with a very quick, just four attempts on that slab. So impressive. Now, difference again from a normal final is we are going to get eight athletes climbing during the middle of this competition. So do bear with us. We, are, we will be flicking between athletes, trying to catch all the action. But as you can imagine, oh, big slip there. Yeah, as you can imagine, a couple of moments will be missed along the way, but our replay team are on it, and they'll be showing you as much as possible. As Aaron just cleans away the volume. And Alana, we're on week two. I've lost all track of time of this sort of Asia tour of this World Cup circuit. Yes. I head off to Jakarta for the next speed round. You guys get to go home uh, and rest up a little bit. But what's it been yep. like being on the road for back-to-back -back World Cups? Um, it's pretty good. I mean, it's this is a relatively short trip for us in the summer. Ooh, Aaron. Into that dish. Sticking it just for a second, missing it on the swing back. Yeah, a, a two-week trip is a relatively short trip. I think the summer will be almost three months in Europe because from Prague at the beginning of June to the world. Wow, this is oh. interesting. Whoa. It's about to be the mother of all rock overs if he pulls this <laughs> yeah, off. Really. If he can rock over that foothold, that would be so incredibly impressive. You surely you have to bump the left foot up yeah. or, or palm down a little bit. You can't. I mean, there's nothing to stand on on that right foot. And he has thought better of it. Wow, goes for something totally different. Wow, it's very creative. <laughs> and this is perhaps where this root reading thing you were talking about comes in because he hasn't had the chance to talk about this with anything anybody else. Mm -hmm. Aaron again into the bad left hand, tries to find a foot, kicking it onto it. And she keeps her feet low, which seems sensible. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so she. And. By keeping them low, she's able to keep them a little bit more straight under her, so she doesn't have as much swing when she hits that next dish, but it's still not quite enough. Oh. And Aaron calling a day. Clock ticks down, we have a rotation of athletes, and you can see now things will get hectic from now on as more and more boulders are filled up by athletes. And we've got some big names coming up as well. A very tricky qualifying round. I mean, how did you find it? 
Uh, I mean, you're sitting here with me, so it wasn't a wonderful, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great. but. <laughs> <laughs> but a hard set of boulders? A very, I found them kind of a bit strange. Uh, on my side, the fifth boulder, only one person did, and maybe three or four other people got the zone, so almost nobody was getting points from that boulder. Number four had the worst footholds to try to do a jump on, and I think every athlete had at least one attempt where they face planted. Yeah, it's they look nasty out there. Do go and watch our highlight slash results video, which is on YouTube now. Ariane Berton starts to go left. Now, she had a a bit of a dodgy start to the season, didn't make semi-finals in Japan, and we kind of expect her to be at that level consistently. And mm -hmm. consistency is something she, she's working on and knows she needs to work on. Mm -hmm. Great to see her back in our semis, finals. Yeah, it really is. She's super talented, very, very strong. Back where she belongs here as she pulls straight away into the zone on her first attempt. Now eyes up this layback feature. She's really trying to crimp the screw hole there with your right <laughs> hand to make it stick better. And as always with Oriane, you know what she's thinking out there on the mats. <laughs> Very expressive. Very expressive, which is great. And that is Kylie on women's two. Let's see how she handles this physical jump. Out with the left hand, loses the feet for a second, resets, looks for a toe hook and a high foot. So much rubber on the wall there. I'm not sure which boulder that was from, whether it was this or something else. Uh-huh. And on the left of your screen, Hannes van Dyson. This is his, only his second semi-final. Last week was his first, then he made finals, then he got a silver medal. So he's having a heck of a week. And he climbed slab so well last week. Oh, there we go. There we go, <laughs> exactly. I think I dubbed him the slab master on the broadcast last week, and again, he shows why. Yeah. yeah. So confident with his feet as he stands up towards the top. You can see the end of the wall, but it is a blocked crimp, so he's got to be precise. Oh, no. And he almost was. Oh, but he has a lot of time left. Yeah, he's got 248. Kylie now toe hooking. I think it's blocked. I think she's trying to toe hook something that's. Yeah, yeah you're right. You can see the little bit of blue. Ariane matches works the hand up. That's a good foot she's on there, but she does need to move away from it now. Anon looks so solid on this top section. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ariane there again, making use of the screw holes with the right hand. Perfectly legal, by the way. That's Exactly, a bolt hold isn't, but a screw hold is. Yes. Toe hooks, nice. celebrates before matching, which is always scary, oh, but she gets yeah. it done. <laughs> Makes me so nervous. Me too. I'm just like, please, please don't do that for my own sake here. Yeah. My heart rate can only take so much. <laughs> so Oriane smiles and waves and leaves, and Kylie continues. I was talking to Oriane's coach. Oh, hang on. We'll just watch uh, Sean. Yeah, I was talking to Oriane's coach on the bus on the way back yesterday, and he was saying how difficult it is just to get into the French team at the moment. They have a lot of talent there, and a lot of talent coming through as well. Oh, yeah. France and Japan seem to have extremely deep fields of talent. Yeah. yeah, I remember this is an Olympic year, so everyone, well, I mean, if you think that Yoshiyuki Ogata, last year's uh, defending overall champion for Boulder, he has not got a ticket for the world champs. Hasn't got into the team for it. Yeah. That's crazy. Or that last year, Miho and Tomoa both didn't do well enough in the lead Japan Cups to be selected for lead. So they couldn't do any lead last year. Crazy. Well, Hannes, having got within touching distance of the final hold, can't get back up there again at the moment. Kylie loses her feet. And that is Hannes back. Right, he's got 44 seconds. He needs to calm. He's got lots of time here. And he, probably the last t attempt he's got on there. So he needs to be sure of this final move. And he loses the right foot. Well, I think if he goes quick, he could have one more. But I'm not sure. Yeah, Sean's spinning around. He looks over at Hannes's yeah. boulder. And Hannes, yeah, is back on. Oh, this is going to be tight, though. No. That move is difficult to rush. 20 seconds to go. He's oh, still on it. No this now. Oh, no. He is going to be kicking himself oh. back in ISO after that miss on the final hold. Yeah, well, that says it all, doesn't it? Frustration from Hannes van Dyson. He doesn't want to leave the mat. Yeah. 
So I think we're having a look at his closest attempt here. Into the zone, palming down. Ah, that's a cool move. <laughs> we're speeding things up here, don't worry. He didn't move quite like that. And then <laughs> left foot match, and that was the fall. So that was the last fall we saw on him. Now it looks like we have Nico Collin. The Belgian team had a great day today getting three of their men into semifinals. Yeah. And Annie Sanders. First year American, she's national champion, and this is her second World Cup. Yeah, and, and people have been saying that she's a prodigy for a long time. When she won the nationals. Yes, I believe she's also double youth world champion in both disciplines. Well, she's only 15, which is crazy <laughs> to think of. And in fact, with the rule change that might come into place, she could be out of the World Cups as of next year if things change around. So it's oh, like. Yeah. It's it's so fascinating to watch it. Oh. Wow. There is Simon. This boulder looks nuts. Well, I don't know how he got there, but <laughs> he's established and he's one move away. Uh. Now matches. Oh, what's he Ooh. holding on? Has he got a mono? Uh, like he's a gripping the screw or the very corner of the hold. That was a screw hold. I think, to be fair, he's in a very balanced position to be able to do that, to yes. make that possible. It doesn't really look like he's yeah has the room in his hips in that position to move. So. <gasps> oh. Whoa. He looks so casual out there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the beginning of, of that boulder. So this is the swing. Kicks off with the wall, and then he needs to land on that red volume and reach up underneath, pressing with two thumbs. Oh, nice. That was cool. Yeah, interesting boulder. And then it's another big move wow. off here. All of these moves just to get zoned. Oh. <laughs> Three fingers only, and then a high. What a boulder. Ooh. That high heel, that, that high above the mats. Scary. Yeah, and then he once he's got his feet on, he does have a moment where he can bridge across and rest. Well, that's how he got there. Thank you, replay guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. Erin is on women's three, which looks like another sort of coordination style. We, we were talking a lot about whether you go right, left, double up. It's because the, the start hold is a big jug, but you're going to bad holds after that. Annie, static across to the slab. Now he needs to somehow find a way of getting that right foot Ooh. to match where her left is. And her right foot's on full dual attacks. <sighs> now she releases away from it, but that right oh hand as well is pressing. She's so low down on the boulder. Look at her right heel, it's centimeters away from the mats. And Annie can't make it work, so Seaman goes again on this insane sequence of moves we've seen. Up to the press. Oh. This time, bobbles with the feet. And Nicholas Collin on the slab. Nine attempts already. <laughs> oh. It's one of those boulders that you have to go and go again and again and again, and it's not particularly tiring. Yeah. Just one little stand up, and the slightest bit out of position, and you're off. To be so precise on this. <gasps> Everyone seems to be either toe dragging or trying to go up with both feet it's difficult to know which is which is best but see a minute underneath now let's watch this again because i love this move <laughs> oh so cool into the heel hook and then he'll swing over to try to find this resting position there it is yeah, as soon as he's down like this it looks like he's too stretched out to really generate to get to the top hold, I wonder. Yeah, this is another swing. I only went back once, so I wonder if you've got to give it a little bit more with Could that be, swing. Or you need to go, yeah, you go back maybe once, but just with more gusto. Yeah, or, or like a more of maybe a back heel push off the wall as you go. I yeah, know. I think he wasn't totally convinced that's what he wanted to do, but he is giving it one last try. Oh. On the zone. Annie has not long to get this done. She's into the zone. 
And now she's worked her way up. She's got six seconds. She's going to have to just jump for it. Oh, she's going to run out of time. She does. Hands kind of going faster than her brain was going almost. It's like they were working and, and just couldn't process the moves quick enough. Yeah, you really start to panic when you hear that <laughs> oh, five-second beeper. Going. It's horrendous. <laughs> like, can you imagine normal life if you have a buzzer timing you down for everything? <laughs> Brushing your teeth would be a stressful process. <laughs> right, so uh, we have another rotation. <laughs> Team Germany, I'm pretty sure, has their first athlete out on the left. So that will be Yannick Floet. And Fanny Joubert. Yeah, right. and it's good to see her back in the semi-final too. She looks really strong at the moment. And Ariane, her teammate, is on women's too. Now they did have to compress these boulders slightly because they weren't expecting eight athletes to be on the final boulders. So they have tweaked it a bit from the original design, but not a lot. It's pretty much as it as it was. Sean going with just one hand, not yeah. the right. I think you'll need both. <laughs> so too. Fanny, using her experience, she just. She's taken a full minute to read this boulder and brush the hole. And in a way, if you think about it, that might be the way forward. Because if normally you're allowed four minutes to do a boulder and they've built that in, mm -hmm. perhaps a minute to read it, prepare it, is a sensible way to go. Yep. Typically you see people read in a qualifier or a regular semi-final. You do see people read for anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. Oh, well, Yannick, I think he swapped shoes. <laughs> I hope he came out with shoes. Probably just better shoes with a slab he was looking for. I would imagine so. And Sean is uh, wincing a little bit. I think Yannick put on a different left foot there. He's got high angle, high angle pros on. So obviously deciding he needed something a bit softer on the left foot. So Yannick tries to find the balancing point here. Right foot. Up. Nearly. Oh. oh, wow, this last move. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> Crowd is great here. They're, <laughs> they're telling us what we're missing and uh, they're very reactive, which is cool to see. And it's the first time this stadium's really been full as Hannes spins back. Oh. Feet first for Oriane. That kind of looks possible for a second. For a second, I think the way she laughed, I think she doesn't think so, <laughs> but we'll see what she tries next. I want to see Kylie do the first move of that uh, women's three. All right now, this is Fanny Gibert. She's into the zone, trying to work out which foot. She swapped back and forth and changed her mind about five oh, times and then goes. One time too many. And then Sean does get the two oh, hands. Nice. Now looks for the double jump. <gasps> Just <gasps> fingertips only, keeping him on. So now Sean gets a heel in to match where his right hand is. Unless he's just, yeah, he must match. Oh, unless he's going for a catch. <gasps> wow. Whoa. He does commitment. go for a catch. Yeah, he, yeah, you're right. Big commitment. Yeah, and this move is another crazy. Well, he's gonna try it this way. Her face pressed into the slab. So he's going to match on the hold. That camera shaking because it's on the wall. And then he's almost looked like he wanted to go static into that. Like pressing, but. Yeah. Just pressing just enough to get his foot on. Oh man. Yeah, you're in such a deep hip position there. Really hard to generate. Which means that the root setters, I think, forced that move pretty well. I mean, time will tell. Yeah, they're fun boulders so far. I'm enjoying these. Yeah. So Fanny, with plenty of time, is into the layback or this. What do you call that move? Well, she was laybacking to begin with, and then she has to. Is that? I don't know what that's that's called. She's like. Gu it's cupping not a guppy. It? Yeah, cupping it maybe. Yeah. yeah. So Fanny okay. up to the top. And I think as long as you have time, that top section of the boulder isn't too bad yes. once you turn over. But you, yeah, you definitely want to have time so you can feel the balance point. Otherwise, I think it's very easy to just pop off. Yeah, absolutely. Yannick is face pressed against the wall. Oh. 
<laughs> there is so many <laughs> muscles working there. It looks like he's just static. He's not. Everything is tensing and it misses the right. Has a little word with Sean as he goes past. I think saying that's impossible, and Sean was agreeing. <laughs> and Oriane is uh, smiling, but she will leave the mats with that boulder undone. You rarely see athletes talk like that. It's quite nice to see it, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, technically, we're not allowed to talk. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't see that. No, I didn't see anything. No. I'll be quiet. Right. So <laughs> this is how Kylie oh, nearly did the last move. Oh, no. I don't think they exchanged any useful information. I think it was just a... Uh, no, I know. <laughs> More of a shrug than a chat. Right, next rotation comes through. And I think we've got Brooke Rabatou on the right. Uh, no, we don't. No, no Jesse, Jesse Pills, Pills, sorry. So Brooke's up next. And Yuji? Yeah, Inoue? and Yuji Inui on the left-hand side. There is Yuji. Oh, trying to do it all in one motion. He's got plenty of time, but he sprinted right back to his chalk bag there. Yes. Whoa. Ritsu, I think that's probably a flash of that move. It's very nice. Super impressive. Oh, no. It just went a bit low. And he spins back down to the mat on women's two. And Nicholas Collin has a look at this powerful M2. Now the second pocket on M2 is very, very shallow. First one's okay. And I think it's some kind of a cross move in there. Yeah, right hand to the zone hold and some campus pocket cross thing. Oh. Ritsu with the double grab, so impressive. It was a flash, you're right. That flash to the zone anyway on his last attempt. What's he doing here? Is he going to go all the way to the right? Whoa. Well, <laughs> He's laughing, I think. <laughs> Didn't he try to do the ridiculous high foot on the first ball as well? Yes. So he's, got he's, some. he's really thinking outside the box. And very it? creative. Yeah. Oh, come on, Jesse. Oh, Whoa. gets the toe, makes it work. Oh, look at the fingerprints left. <laughs> and now, M4, that hole he went to, the judge's jump is totally flat. It looks like a jug, but it's not. We'll see more of that in a sec. It's, now, we're saying Annie Sanders. I should say that uh, it's because that's what she prefers to be called. In fact, I was specifically told by her parents to not call her Anastasia. So that's why I'm calling her Annie. But obviously, her official name is Anastasia. <laughs> Well, all action so far in our semi-final slash final here this evening in South Korea. Just watching Aaron on the left side of your screen there on W4. Cool looking move. Yeah, it looks like you might have to Go. calm down or something. She grabbed no, the zone she grabbed one. the first white hold, cross to the next black one, and then I think you swing out to the, the zone. Yuji will stand up the more traditional way. Still not quite. He's still not trying to stop. Yeah, he's doing it. I mean, it's such a small hole to hit dynamically. That yeah, foot. I think. Yeah. Ritsu just has his hands on his hips. <laughs> he really wants to go right, doesn't he? He's staring up at it. And have a look on the left. That yeah, that was the jump I was talking about. But Anon now is towards the top. She's got one move to go, but it is a hard one. Oh, back and forth with the feet. Yeah, it's the same decision Kylie did. <gasps> oh. no! I was about to say I don't know how she's holding the barn door. She couldn't quite. That was so close. That was Nicholas Collin in the air and Erin. Looks at some skin, which might be struggling a bit. Yeah, it's a grimace there. There's a good look that the camera caught. So Jessie now, much better with the foot. Solid in this. Will she go for this high toe again? She's ninja kicks into it. Oh, wow. Her right foot, it's nothing to press down on. 
You can see the handprints from her previous attempt there. She's a bit higher this time. Oh, good. She made it to the position everyone else did. Okay, good. Yeah, now we think she should be solid if the buzzer doesn't put her off. And she should be there before then. But this move is tenuous. You've got to trust that left foot. And I, I think the right foot on top there is on dual text. I think it's designed to make you a little bit nervous. Look at the sinew standing up on a forearm. She cups that triangle volume. She wants to rotate around to the left. That is not going to be enough time. Annie, though, is on through the move. Not quite sticking zone there. Such a good uh, chance for some of these younger athletes to try final style boulders. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't normally get to do this. Yeah, well, usually only six of the athletes do get to try them, so. And I'm not saying Annie wouldn't make finals, I just want to make that clear. Yeah. I'm just saying that for some, you know, out of 20, well, not all 20 can try a finals boulder. Yeah, as so you say, 14 any more people get to try these finals boulders. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, it is kind of cool. Right, so now Brooke Rabatou is on, on the right-hand side. Last week's gold medalist, there she is. Never seen someone as emotional as her, really, after that victory. It was really cool to watch. Yeah, she climbed so well. It was really impressive. There it was. Next to her teammate, Sean Bailey, on his final bowl of the evening. This big jump from a scrunched up position underneath to a flat hold, and we think you have to keep on moving into the next hold, which is much better. It did look like that's what uh, Simone was trying. Not sure if he eventually got it, but. So that's Kylie Cullen on the women's fort, and Nikolai Uznik, first time we see him this evening on the slab. Interesting start from Kylie. Yeah, Nikolai also trying to go dynamically to that tiny foot. It's just got to be instinct. It's like, yeah, it, it yeah. really is a, a small foot now. Not, not feeling like you can stop on the first one, but man, I would look oh, at that yeah. foot and be like, no way yeah. in, can I do that? I must have to stop on the first one. Absolutely. Well, Hannes now, disappointment on his first boulder. He came very close to the slab. He missed the zone on boulder two, so he needs a top or a zone here, really. Swings down into this position. He wants that high left foot, just gets it, but there's not a lot oh, going on there. underneath the seam too. Better. Oh, oh no, no, not better. It's one of those moves you oh, want to lift oh, your no. foot up and place it there almost, but... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, the crowd loves it. There's a really good atmosphere with this, actually. Right, so he's now he's doing the Sean, I think the Sean, the one finger thing. Is it Sean? Simon. Simon, yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Again, he tries to find the left. He's going to spring off the left. Oh! oh no. Well, that fall was amazing. It's like he fell in the air, rotated himself, and then could have gave up on, on trying to spin around and just let it take him. Ariane falls on the, on the second jump, first jump of women's three. First jump, second hold. Yes. There you go. <laughs> oh, there's so much to keep track of in a semi-final. My brain is melting. <laughs> Yannick, Floe on the left, Ariane on the right. And as you can see from the graphic, Ariane with just one top so far. That's Fanny Gibert. Oh. Trying to match that hold, which has got no texture on it. Yeah. Well, not no texture, a little texture. That is our current scoreboard. So we saw him just now. Hannes van Dyssen is in first position. Provisional, of course. Lots of athletes to come with two zones only. Look, low scoring round at the moment. Mm -hmm. And then for the women, Anon doing better than the men. One top, two zones. I should say they are different boulders, obviously. I was just <laughs> <laughs> saying, I don't know why I said that. And Oriane in second place. And Brooke, not sure if she's got a zone yet. Anyway, up to the press. Yeah, I think she... Well, no, this she is does. a zone. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Ooh, nice. That nice. little... Half save, half move there. <laughs> yeah, foot kick to throw her hand out. That was... Oh. I feel like her coordination skills got a lot better. Not that she was bad at them before, but no, she's so impressive. You're 100% right, because it's something that... Um, 
Quinn was telling me that it was like a weakness that she's been working on in the off-season. Okay, yeah. And she has this new confidence with it. So yeah, nice read, because you are correct. She was flashing moves last week that people weren't able to do at all. It's crazy. Yeah, she's taking the turn as Brooke, as she rotates round in the screw hole, I think, with the left foot. Her trademark, of course. As a friend of mine likes to call it, is the rabbit toe. <laughs> I'm stealing that. <laughs> That's brilliant. Right, she tops out. A little tap Very of the nice. wall. She's quite low down the order for her, which would be interesting. Again, it's the pressure thing. Maybe she won't feel it and sneak in. You know, we're so used to seeing it in the lights. And this is our current men's leader on the big jump. Let's see if he changes his solution for the last move, the way that Simon did on his last attempt. Yeah, swing oh. across. Oh, no, he's going to try this again. Now he'll be aware of the clock, but he won't be able to see it from this position until that horrible buzzer goes. Like, soon. Uh, there it goes. Come on, Hannes. Right foot Ooh. shaking. Oh. <laughs> okay, did. I think he's okay. Did you see his dolphin dive celebration in the semi-final? Uh, he, he hit the mat and then literally, I, I can only call it a dolphin dive or like a flop. <laughs> he like stood up and then flopped over as a celebration thing. <laughs> no, I missed that. It was brilliant. So when he hits the ground, it's not always like a, he looks like an action hero, but it's not always that he's sort of literally spilling all over the place. It's, 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 it's just kind of his thing. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So it's the limit. The moon on uh, the slab. Selma, sorry, that's his Selma. Selma. Mimoun on the right. She misses the first press. And I think this is her, uh, maybe and not her first World Cup. Annie Sanders on women's three. And Yuji, yeah. no zones, no tops yet. close. Selma's second World Cup as well. So we got a lot of young guns. Yeah, they picked the right year for it as we build towards Paris 24. Mm -hmm. Yuji cleaning the holes. And that is Nicholas Collin starting his swing over to the left. A lot more delicate than the others. I think it might be a bit of a trick that one hand. It, cause it almost looks like you could do that, sort of go a lot slower and catch it. But I think, I mean, everyone so far is just really committed, and that's where it's easier. Yeah, it's like good enough that you can hit it with a lot of momentum. So chilly conditions here in the stadium. Good for the athletes, of course, but it, there's a bit of a wind blowing. And Alberto Hines Lopez. That must have blown him off, actually. Yes, that must have <laughs> been it. Yeah, that little breeze. Nicholas drops down. Yeah, it's good to see Alberto back into a semi finals. He's, again, a bit hit and miss at the moment in terms of when he makes it, when he doesn't. Yeah. Jessie nears the top. Oh, I want to see how she did the, the beginning. She's the first one to, to get that. Hold. Yeah, I'm sure we'll try to get a replay of her oh, on no. the bottom. She misses the top. Uh, here is Nicholas on the left. <gasps> oh, that was close though. He looked yeah. like he was in a pretty good position on the final hold. He was. Super powerful, like contact pinch strength needed on that one. Mm -hmm. and there is Alberto with the oversized T. Oh, look at oh. this. Come on, pull it back. Oh, oh no. you deserve that. It's like watching, it's like a, a school physics lesson in action, this. <laughs> I would have learned far more at school if he had just, uh, if they just showed me a video of him doing this. <laughs> Anon is stood up. As our drone rotates, you can see it's a bit of a sports stadium here, football pitch in the background. And you can hear the sounds echoing out and behind us, the city stretches away into the distance. Oh, big fall there from Anon. As again, Alberto. Oh, he starts this balancing oh. act. <laughs> and he re-chalks up. 
as Yuji gets two feet into the starting position. You have to start where the blue lines indicate one limb on each of those lines. And is he getting a toe in underneath that? I'm not sure anyone's really done the second move of that boulder yet. So. Super hard. Look, she's using the screw on hold as well. She rotates around. It's insane to think that's now a thing, isn't it? But it does just give a little bit of texture. Walks her way up. Oh, don't oh. rush. <laughs> Selma nearly dropping the top. But a quick top from her. She had a whole minute now to go off. The crowd roars, will rotate. And I think that was, yeah, that was Nicholas Colan almost getting the top, but Jesse's near the top as well. Oh, no. So we presume from the shout that was Nicholas getting very, very close. Alberto with this crazy first move, so dynamic, but so balanced from him just to hold this bump. Up with the jump, tries to find it. Nicholas running out of time. He goes again though, <laughs> fair play. That would be... And he nearly walks into him on the way out. Yeah, yeah, six seconds, six not going to be enough, but it's, no. it's cool to see it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and not that he knows this now, but M4 hasn't been topped yet. So. True. Well, I guess no boulder has been topped in the men's. So that was the crowd sound. That's what they were shouting about. That's how close he came that second time. <laughs> Right, we rotate. And that is Yoshiki Ogata has been announced. As I said, last year's defending Boulder overall champion. He told me how nervous he was in Japan at the start of the season. I was like, surely you can't get nervous. He's like, no, no, every year. So uh, he still well, it's feels good it. to know he's human. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. That's Yoshiki and Georgia then, Tessio. Yeah, from Italy on the right. Is that first of two Italians we have in the women's semi. Come on. And Hannes on M4 with his jump. Let's have a look at this. So up to the flat hole, fingertips on. I think he was trying to stop on it. As Oriane is on her last boulder as well. Must be funny to sort of end your competition next to someone starting your, their competition. You know, like the, the energies perhaps. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm reading it. Sometimes if you're doing a slab and you're trying to balance and really calm down and somebody's doing a massive jump next to you. It's a good point, yeah. yeah. Sometimes they're, they'll like shout or just the impact of them hitting the mat if they fall, just gets in your head a little bit. Yeah, I'd never thought of that. That's and maybe that's just me because I'm not that great. No, no, I think I've been the same. It's whenever someone does a massive, let me do a huge dino next to you. Oh, look at that from Brooke. Oh, that was cool. That was that coordination style move you, you were saying she's got better at. Up with the left hand. And now Brooke. Come on, Brooke. She does get the right. This is only a second attempt on this ball. High heel, there's not a lot there, but she's so good at the big heels. Yeah. Another Brooke trademark. She's matching it. <gasps> wow. That is a series of very, very... Well, Oriane as well, as she walks off now, we could say she topped out as well. That was the crowd sound, but what a move from Brooke there. I thought she was coming off the heel. This is Oriane's top. Let's check it out. So she started low, obviously. <laughs> what a silly thing to say. And Oriane, this is her working Whoa, over. So basically skipped the zone and just went straight to the top. Crazy from Oriane. Whoa. So impressive. That's what that crowd sound was. Brilliant from Oriane there. She finishes her final. Now Yoshiyuki is stood up. Oh, oh no. And. And Yoshiyuki cleans the hole. Anis with a big jump and a miss. Wow, that's such a big jump for it's the men. enormous. I stood underneath it just to have a look, and it's one of those where I was like, I had to sort of double crane my neck back <laughs> to see the hold. And this is Yannick, yeah, topping out M3. 
Oh, He's so good at that. Look at that one armor. Just, just as <laughs> come on. Showboating. Cool to see at the top of the hole there. Locking off on a one armor. As long as he's matched it first, I yeah, they can do what they want all, at that yeah, point. All yeah, all for it. <laughs> It's actually quite a good demonstration of how strong these guys are sometimes. And the guys, I mean, men and women, it's just incredible. And that lock-off at the end of all that moves is... Yeah. Yoshiki with a big move to the zone. Why not try it with a minute to go? Yeah, after four minutes of frustration on a slab, it's easy to kind of throw yourself at, like, oh, maybe I can just jump and it'll be okay. Yeah, I think he's in that mind zone. It's the second time he's gone for it. Mind frame. Mm -hmm. Nicholas Kul. Uh, sorry, um, yeah, uh, Nikola Uznik. Trying to get the pump out of his arms, as is. Funny. Funny is <laughs> funny. It's just a paused mid, mid conversation there as I looked down at my score sheet. One of the three French women who's climbing at the moment. I just know I'll get shouted at if I say the wrong names. I'll try quite hard it. There's a lot going on in this semi-final. Yushiyuki down, more traditional way of doing that boulder. Still not a full stop on that flat hold, but he got his foot on the little one just fine. Oh, there we go. Now he stops and comes out. You know what we're saying about Sean's wet patch on the bottom of his foot? Yeah. Yoshiki's got the same thing. I think it just must be where the rubber's scraping off. Ah, uh, okay. He's got exactly the same place. It looks like a dot of water. Or maybe that nasty, glassy foothold is just wet. Yeah, true. <laughs> maybe they just, they just spray it every time an athlete comes on, just to make it more difficult. This is a cruel new uh, version of holds. Don't They're not dual techs anymore. They're wet. <laughs> Don't put it past them. You're a root setter. I mean, I maybe I shouldn't have uh, suggested that one. We should try it, I think. Oh, that sounds horrible. All right, our crowd is packed into this stadium. The waterfall is at the back, climbing at the front. There's a lead wall on the right and the speed wall. We should mention that because it was an amazing speed final the World other day. World record speed wall. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the men's was broken twice during the uh, evening and the women's three. four times. Well, he got under five seconds three times, but he broke his own record twice. Oh, gotcha, yeah. And then uh, Alexandra Minosov broke her own record four times, which yeah. is just madness. Yeah, she lowered her own record by about 0.3 seconds yeah. in one day. Do go and watch that if you haven't. It was a brilliant final. Right, Melody's on your screen, just kicking out. And that is uh, Nicholas Colan on the jump. Oh, opting to try to go split one hand to each. Wow. He must be really good at jumping. <laughs> Selma there rotates through, crossing. I still haven't actually seen anyone do that move. Yeah, we saw Brooke catching it, but not starting it. Yeah. Run and jump start for the men. And then Yuji starts this swing over. And this is a little closer time. to the wall. That's Alberto there cleaning up the hold, and Jesse Piltz. In action. Alberto, I think, deserves something for that balance move on slab one, so hopefully he can get his own here. Yeah, that was definitely just the win. <laughs> Maybe that's just the win for all of them. The root setters tried it when it wasn't windy. I mean, it could be. It yeah. does, the wind does actually sort of put you off, so it took B off anyway. Yeah. And interesting, it has actually started to pour with rain out there too, so you might see some umbrellas coming up. It shouldn't affect the wall because it's falling vertical. The other day when we had the delay, the uh, the schedule changes because it was windy and rainy. It was blowing Toby. the water onto the mats. Oh, no. the yeah, so Toby's first boulder finals. Sorry, well, yeah, finals, let's call it that. <laughs> it kind of is, but certainly it's the first semi-finals. Yeah. But Are not, we calling this as... I don't, I don't honestly, no, I think we have to call it a semi-finals in terms of getting into a... Right. But it is kind of a finals. But yeah, it's his first semi-finals. I like how you said right there, and I made no sense at all, but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yuji up into the double hand, and then crosses with a toe, matches. And we know this move is possible now, we just saw Yannick do it. Taking a moment to rest, chalk up, took a chalk bag with him. Give 
Oh, oh. drops it. Well, <laughs> extra weight, I guess. Oh, I think he did this in qualifiers in Japan as well. Or maybe it was semi-finals. Here we go. Will the extra loss of weight help him with this move? Eyes it up. Goes Come for on. the jump. Oh. Clearly it does. Yuji tops out. <laughs> and that will mean a lot to him. So much of this for the Japanese athletes is about selection as well as topping the boulder, you know. Like right. every top is another hint to the set selectors they should be picked. Yeah, so competitive to be on the Japanese team. Melody pressing way down low there. Not quite getting all the way around the way that some of the other women have been able to. Toby gets stood up, then loses balance. That's the umbrellas we were talking about as it crosses <laughs> in front of our camera. The rain is pretty heavy out there. Shouldn't affect the athletes though. Toby, precision needed on this foot as he tiptoes over, misses it the first time, gets it the second, but didn't really set for the jump. But look at Annie on the right. Found a nice resting position. Well, she's at heart a sport climber. Yeah. She tends to climb routes the boulders like sport routes. It's incredible. Like, how is she finding that rest? And how has she been on there for that long? I know. Huh? Rotates on, around with the pinch up to the top. This could be her first semi final top, and it is. Well, there we go. Annie chalks one up. Pretty quick match. It's definitely in control, but. That makes me nervous when athletes do that as well. Yeah. Come on, Selma. So Selma rotates in. Nope. Must be a fine line for that move between getting the height that you need and not getting too much swing so that it kicks you right off. Oh, Toby fingertips on. So close. Well, our drone doesn't mind the rain as it approaches the wall, but you can just sort of see it speckling on the screen. And it is starting to stop now. Hannes Van Dyson just walked past us with a massive grin on his face, so he's happy. And then, well, that was the reaction. Jean Monchon, I spent the day at his house on Thursday, seeing where he lives, where he trains, where he drinks coffee. That footage will be coming to the IFSC soon. And, uh, he has two very small yappy dogs, which were very nice yappy dogs. Oh, I met them at the venue the other day. But he's an very utter cute. legend here in South Korea. Yeah, he's man? a superstar. Yeah, he really is. So, right foot on the small texture surface. Jumps up. Oh, not quite high enough there. And Miho Nanaka on the right hand side. And Yannick Floet finishes his comp on M4. So Miho eyes up the big 360 hole, pressing into it. And Yannick reads that straight away. I think it's not, it doesn't look terribly complicated, but it's big. It's big, yeah. So Brooke gets the t-shirt out of the way chalk on looking determined it's, it seemed to be a mentality with her she approaches these kind of coordination moves with a different look in her eye mm -hmm. it's i don't know what it is it's sort of like a steely grim determination uh, fighting spirit yeah yes exactly yoshiyuki finding the balance with the left foot wow that's so hard nikolai Uznik makes the jump look easy as he crosses in with a keel that's bomber there Oh, beautiful for him as he swings and drops down. He eyes up the foot and blows on his hand casually. Nice. Swings out, second top. <laughs> third top of that Third top, there. sorry, yeah. third top. Yannick, Yuji, Nikolai. Just been told that was a, a replay of it if you're confused. And then Brooke there looks back. So Fanny Gibert on the right, Young Won John on the left. And 
Miho exploding into the... Oh, foot just sliding off that vortex boat. Really difficult to tell, but that, that wall's very overhanging as well, so he's being pressed right backwards, is Yannick. And then Fanny, with the minute 55 on the clock, tries to work out the bottom sequence to this boulder. Come on, Chan. Oh, he's almost just not focusing on standing enough. As soon as he gets up, he's already looking at the foothold. Miho out to the pinch. Bumps it up. Yellow nails matching the yellow hair. And she eyes up the next move. Then into the cup. Slightly different method with the left toe here. Very low. Oh, nice. But really standing on that zone hold. Really close again. Brilliant rotation through as well. She's one move away here. Easy. Into the dish. Matches. Nine attempts on the slab, but she got it done. Yeah, that first move is very uh, tempty <laughs> for people. She Shot. made the rest of it look really nice. Yeah, Fanny leaps off your camera screen as John stands up on the blue volume for a second. Giorgia Tessio leaps through. She loves those physical throwy moves. Yannick was setting up for the jump as we switch back to John. Stands up. Vanny is in a better position doing it, starting it out. This is this awful dish with the left hand. Look how shallow it is. He's just getting the end of his fingers oh, into it. Houdini match on that. What was Crazy. that? Crazy. Right, palming with the left hand, rotates it through. Oh. This is the crimp. First person to get the zone on that. First person to get the second move on that <laughs> boulder, actually. That match, but you call it a Houdini move. A uh, little Houdini match. As when you have one hand on a hold that's too small to match, so you put your other hand on top, and then you kind of jump up a little bit and remove the bottom hand, and then catch it with the top hand. Okay, there we go. That's I really hope good. that was a good enough. No, it was a very good explanation. So, I Mori is in action on the right. She made semis last weekend in Japan, not finals. Yeah. Think about that for a second. Yeah, struggled on yes. some of the more dynamic boulders. Yes. And it is one of her weaknesses. So thinking of the boulders coming later on, she kind of needs to get this slab in the she, bag quickly. Yes. She also is very good at finding static ways to do things as we are watching. Yeah, anything but a jump, really, yeah. <laughs> from Aimori. That splits move is a bit too far. And Manu Kornu is in action for Team France, one of three French team members in the semi-final. Manu does an Alberto-style <laughs> stretch to the left. And Jesse has stood up. Manu again, this time better from him, facing oh, nice. the direction with the head. Yeah, I think turning the head get, allows you to get just a little bit closer. Uh, to yeah, the yeah, wall. that makes sense. And look at this from Manu. Only oh. the second time we've seen that move go. Absolutely, so this could be a top. We know it's a difficult last move. It's blocked, you've got to be precise. Got it, Manu. Bad feet. He will go crazy if he gets this. Oh, he looks like he wants it nice and going slow. Stat watch the barn door, though. We can't see his no, foot. No, he's on the. No, he's on a very slippery part of the wall. Oh, there it is. Friction. Come on. He's still got to pop for it though. Inches away. Gets it. Right. Amazing. Well. Yeah. <laughs> That's Paul Jeff, his teammate there in the crowd. It's so good to see Manu topping out again. I haven't seen that for for a, for a while. And it's wicked to see. Yeah, that's that was a super impressive top. The fourth top of the round, first top of that boulder. 
He made it look easy as well. Like when you see someone, I mean, yeah. he's good at slabs like that, but. Uh, you just stand on your feet yeah, and you just. It's fine. Just reach. <laughs> Toby Roberts at M2. He's horizontal almost. That's an awkward move, that, isn't it? That press. There's Alberto. Come on, Alberto. Looking to maybe jump with just one hand and then bring the left in. No double hands. No! Almost he held it, just slid at the end. Oh yeah, it's raining more and more now. Yeah, it really is. This wasn't forecasted and it's kind of catching people a bit unawares. Hit, but fingers crossed for the mats. It does take a lot of rain to affect this wall. Yeah, so. it does have a pretty good roof. It was quite a deluge. Del it deluge says you, you were in a hotel room. I was in a puddle. <laughs> I, I saw photos. Did you? You know. <laughs> sounded terrible. It wasn't great. Right, <laughs> right Jesse at the bottom. Not looking close to that at the moment. It looked uh, to have been easier if you go doubles to that hold rather than uh, one hand, one hand. That was Melody there on screen. Toby once more. This time trying to get the left foot up first. Tries the palm again. Samba looks pretty close to that. Yeah, she's got 47 seconds though, it's ticking down. And I is not doing that well on this slab at the moment. Yeah, I feel like if she gets the stand up, she'll get the next, the rest of the boulder, but. Toby swings again, 23 seconds on the clock. Selma jumps and misses. Yuji will go again. Jesse Pilts. Two hands, two hands, Jesse. Yeah, that's the way that seems to have been more successful. But a bit late for her, though. Yeah. Alberto's. Oh, look at the speed. Oh, no. So he'll have to reset. One final boulder to go for him. So the buzzer ticks down. There's a, a transition time as we look at the score on the right. Nikolai Uznik leading the way with only one top and no zones. That's how low scoring it is so far. Oh, man. About halfway through the semi final now. You can see part of a running track, this. That's the green and the red of it and the uh, floor of the arena. Oh, I never noticed that. And we're sitting right on it. Yeah, no, once you see it, it's hard not to, but you walk across it all day without noticing. Yeah. It? And Natalia Grossman. Now, Natalia took a pretty nasty fall during the qualifying. You can see her neck is taped up. It's kind of a whiplash style move. She is apparently okay. It got checked out, so we're hoping it doesn't affect it too much, but it was a big whipper. Mm. So I she's heard not. It was pretty scary. Yeah, and it, that's why she's not quite herself, and you're wondering, that could be the reason. Brooke with two tops out of two is in second place. Matty Turnell on the slab. Brooke is trying to get a toe catch in. And we are, well, that's why they're screaming, because that man is close. Gets the crimp, foot in the pocket. This could be the first top of M2 here. Static reach, it is in. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John gets it done. Oh, in front of his home crowd. It's amazing. So, he's so emotional. And it's really good to see. <laughs> he got that done quickly as well. Like, what, was it a flash second goal? Very early on. One though. of the two, yeah. yeah. Let's watch this. This is him. We just saw him top out. Let's see him on the bottom. It was a flash. Oh, flash, wow. So how did he do this move? I think he got... Did he get the left or did he stick the press? Oh, wow, well, kind of a bit of both. But didn't press down oh, with the left hand. Kick the foot to a dual texture part of the volume, too. Yeah. Impressive. And then matched. Oh, he missed 
Interesting. So we went to the sloper first, didn't try any kind of cross through method. Is he grabbing anything with his left hand or just the volume? Absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> Crazy. Wow. Look at that match from Sean. Such strong hands. Amazing. Oh, Natalia, oh no. Just sliding before she got the zone. So brilliant work from John Monchon. That's Natalia on the right, and Nikolai Uznik finishing off his comp. And that's uh, Yoshiki Ogata with the swing. Easily sticks that. It looks so good when people are able to do it. So this is uh, Miho Nanaka on the final sequence of um, women's two. Keep an eye on both of these athletes, looking good at the moment. Yoshiki Yata is good at these kind of moves. Oh. Right, we fully stick with Yoshiyuki as Miho falls. Yeah, everybody really wants to do this last move from this splits position. I really wonder what the resetters intended, if they intended the sort of swing across, bounce down to the that foothold and then up? Probably. It's at the limit of a lot of athletes reach as well. Yeah, which is why I wonder if it was supposed to be a more bouncy move. If it's a bouncy move, he might unlock it. He's one of those athletes. Yeah. Giorgio Tessio jumps, swings. I think needs to kick the foot out as well. It has the hand sequence down. Yeah, she's looking good on women's three. And the rain has almost stopped here in the stadium. Actually, <laughs> turn on cleaning his shoes with a brush. Brooke not yet unlocking this. She got two flashes early, sorry, two tops early on, and then nothing since then. Hard round for men and women. Brooke bumping the right hand. This is her last chance to really make a big impression on the scoreboard. Matthew stands up. How is he still on? Rotates, palming on the wall, looks for the right foot, gets it solidly as well. Wow. Oh, oh no. Right, looks like a dry fire off the left. Yeah. Now Yoshiyuki with this bouncy move. Oh, no. Four seconds to go. So close from him. Well, he's sitting in sixth at the moment with two zones. And there is the podium waiting on the left of your screen, <laughs> facing the wall, kind of taunting the athletes as our drone floats overhead. Well, a lot to keep track of. I hope you're keeping up with us. My name is Matt Green, and I'm joined by Alana Yip here in the commentary box. And you are watching a semi-final, but it is the final. So the result from this will count as the final placings. We'll give medals, we'll give rankings based on this. Oh, she's back. Yeah, so from Australia, on the mats, Oceane McKenzie. Her first semi-final since Brixen of last year, I believe. My Instagram feed was filled with Australian people bigging her up today. <laughs> <laughs> it's like anyone who I vaguely know who's Australian was shouting about her, and deservedly so. Oh yeah, she's so strong right now. Uh, didn't have a great comp in Hachioji, but had an amazing qualifying round yesterday, so. Excited to see what she can do. Yeah, and Toby jumps and drops, and then I Mori is on this difficult women's move. <gasps> oh, so she's got such strong fingers. Like how she's holding that left hand. Yeah. Toby starts the swing. Oh, drops in. Wild with the legs. He tries to find the momentum with the hips. Yeah, I think he's just the wrong direction a little bit there. That's Sam Avizu creeping the right foot onto the bad foothold. Really tried to crimp that left hand and Toby almost wanted to match it for a second before deciding to drop down. Mm -hmm. The way that, uh, was it Hannes did it the first time? He was the first person to do that move, I think. He grabbed the zone right hand first and then quickly matched and went left hand and right hand down to the, the foothold. So we know that is a possible way of doing it. 
as Toby gets the heels in. Toes down towards the mat as he rocks over, trusting the heel. A little heel-toe cam in there, I think. A little cam against the wall. Yeah, it's, it, you're right, it was. And that shows the angle of the wall, just the fact he can do that. Now he wants to get that left foot up. I wonder if it's a kickoff with the left oh. foot. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I said earlier. It's kind of what you want to do on that move. but. Yeah, but you're, it's so hard to generate from here. Crazy. You can see he's going to eye up. He's going to try the jump. Amazing. And he gets it. <laughs> and he does a one arm. One arm at central here. Good work from Toby. Selmas gets stood up at the bottom of the boulder. Matches and misses. Sam Avazu finds the balancing point. He's really good in the slab as that man. Come on, Sam. Creeps the feet over, looking for the right toe. He's in. Oh, no. Yeah, that left foot going way above his head to try to find. As Oceana drops in. Oh, that's a new uh, style for Osh on the first move. Osh, oh, that That's a good short name. <laughs> I think uh, most people call her Osh. Okay. A little, a little shorter. I'll, I'll do that as well. From this comp. From now onwards, she's Osh. <laughs> That's Melody jumping up to try to find the zone hold. She looked really solid on that the first hold there. Well, the second hold in her sequence, but. Right, that's our leaderboard. I'm Ori now. Just struggling a little bit with a minute 15 to go. No zones, no tops for her. She's on women's two. Sam Mavazu looks over at the clock and there we do hear the minute bother. Osh on the right. And Alberto Hines Lopez starts this big jump to the flat hold. And I, Mori, on the left there, swinging around. Right, Manu Kornu topped out the slab brilliantly. This is his second climb of the evening. Gets a right foot up. I can't believe, I want to see... Uh, Chon's move on that again because it just it seemed like he almost changed his mind in mid-air to bring that left foot through. Yeah. Very flat to be able to do that move the way he's trying it. Melody's, oh, Melody's really close to sticking that first hold and getting her right toe back in the start hold. It's pretty cool. That would be a different way to do that for sure. Five seconds. Sam Mavazu wants the zone. Oh. Manu holding his back there, rubbing it as he leaves the arena. I bet M2 was really bad for the back. Yeah, well that's the city that we've been staying in. It is enormous. Look at that sunset, red in the sky. Shepherd's delight apparently, so good day tomorrow. <laughs> Doesn't help us, yeah. but it's a wonderful shot there. The city is enormous. Patches of green throughout, the mountains rising on the horizon. It's a stunning place to have a climbing competition. A uh, nice uh, green oasis in the center of a very big city here. Yeah. Come on, Camila. Camila gets her comp. Now, last week she didn't have the best of competitions, but it was kind of revealed afterwards. She had a temperature of 37 degrees, which is super impressive that she even managed to try to compete in last week's semi-final. So hopefully she's feeling better here. Tomoe Narasaki with his right foot on well. That was the move you were talking about, the right hand first. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Giorgio Tessio tries to find something a bit unique with this. He's got a right toe in. Bumps palm down. Yeah, she hasn't quite started the boulder yet. There, now she's officially started. Oh, look at that balance from Tomoe and Arasaki. <laughs> and that's his second time already. It's been a minute and 20 seconds. He's... Come on, come on. Nice. Yeah, right hand to zone and then swaps. He almost kicked his own hand off there. <laughs> so, 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 so. 
so, so, so. Samoa presses with his left thumb. But as we know, you've got to find something blind with the left toe. He's in on it, though. He goes too high, but somehow sticks it. Amazing. Only 10 left on the clock. Got a nice long rest now. <laughs> well, He's making a good case for himself here at home. Look at that. Fair play, Jogon Chon, hanging there. Rota I don't even know what that is called, that move. Yeah. He'll love that. The crowd loves that. <laughs> so he's got two tops. And that... they would love to see him on top of that podium. They would, yeah. I kind of want to see that too here. Yeah. I'm mean, not saying anything against anyone, but wow, that would be a special moment. So Giorgi Atesio stood up. Right, here we go again. Giorgi Atesio creeping with the right hand. She's changing her beater up. She had that real high toe hook in at one point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, able to stick that white hold statically. See if she'll jump one hand or two hands to the next hold. Yeah, that one hand. Looks like that one hand just seems to peel you off. Mm -hmm. That's Machi Turnal on M2 and Miho Nanako on women's three. A minute 52 on the clock. The breeze again blows through and the rain starts to fall once more here. And that is Natalia. As she crosses through. Not oh look how easy she makes that move look. Matches the dish. Well, that neck is clearly not causing too many issues for her. All she's fighting through like a warrior. She comes up with the right hand, standing right on a tiptoe of that. Oh, oh yeah, you can see there yeah. the pain kicking in. It's she's stiff when she moves and holds her neck there. Yeah. Nasty. I hope she's not making it worse. I mean, she's got a bit of a break until Salt Lake, but yeah, you're right. She doesn't want to antagonize it too much. Oh, Camilla holds the foot bobble. <laughs> I guess frustrated scream more than anything else coming out. Yeah. And Miho <laughs> makes it work. Oh, it's the first time we've seen that move go in a few climbers. Come on, Miho. <laughs> well, it was just the toe scrubbing against the dish that saved her, and she gets the top, and that'll move her right up to the top of the leaderboard. <laughs> Brilliant for Miho Nanaka, she's in first position. Now, Natalia, she had another nasty fall. Crimps, bumps. She's got to commit to this move. We know how nasty it can be. Yeah, she'll call it a day there. It's, uh, we can, I think there must be some wetness behind, beside the uh, the wall there, because you can see her putting shower caps on her feet to keep her shoes dry. Yeah, well, it's everyone at the women yesterday were doing the same thing to start off with. Yeah, I was putting my climbing shoes into my running shoes. <laughs> Yeah, you can't see the rain on screen, but it is falling, and that's why, as Alana said, they've got those protective booty things on. They're, yeah, they're shower caps. Shower caps, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we could call them protective plastic booties. Yeah, it makes me just, it reminds me of COVID times, like going into hospitals with those Yeah, things. oh yeah, yeah. Bad memories. Well, Stachigeo comes on the right. Good to see her back in the top spot. She didn't make semi-finals last week. Yeah, good to see her back. Yeah, you can imagine her reaction to that one. She was not happy, so she'll be fighting hard here. And Toby Roberts on the left. And Manu Kornu gets the double jump done. Oceana McKenzie on the women's two. Manu catches the jump. Oh, she's just swinging here. Trying to generate some oh. momentum for the cross through. <laughs> Man who oh. faces, there we go. But now he's you know, in the wrong direction. What they say, when in doubt, face out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 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 
got better of it. <laughs> yeah, he definitely considered it. Oh. I kind of want to see the sort of the, the 180 as he spins if he's facing the other way. If anyone could do it, he can. <laughs> and that's Max Milne from the UK, who's, uh, sorry, from Great Britain. He gets the right foot up and then he starts. He's three attempts in. Oh. Balls on the fourth. He had a great qualifying round. Very exciting to watch. Yeah, he had a bit of a disappointing round by his standards in Japan. Just missing out. A career last year is where, ooh, that's a big fall there as well. Osh again with this cross through move. She's got the toes, gets the match. This looks good from her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so strong. Crazy, isn't it? Right, we'll bump up to the move. Thumb underneath the volume. Come on, Osh. Crimps with the right hand, bumps out, catches with the thumb. She's going to do the brook high heel hook. Oh, yes. Oh, Melody through the zone here. Oh, look at those toes. In fact, a left shoe looks like it's almost coming undone there. <laughs> on the shot, she tries to get a drop knee in. Oh, Stasha. Stasha on the slab. Good pinch strength from her. She's cupping it. Oh. I think it was a bit of a slab power scream from her there. She starts <laughs> to rotate and loses the foot. Yeah, too much rotation on that zone slippery foot, I think. Yeah, she did a lot Good. of hand and foot movements there, and eventually one of them was going to pop. Yeah. <laughs> Max up and down in a heartbeat, and then, oh, oh, wow. That was cool. Come on, Melody. Yeah, so Melody now, she's in eighth position. All zones, apart from the third boulder, double toes. Falls out of your camera shot. Still, that left uh, shoe is flapping. The OCD part of me wants her to like do it up immediately, you know. Maybe she just. I don't have to do a left heel hook. I'll be fine. Yes. All I need is the front part of my shoe. <laughs> I love that move Manny does, dropping in there. Yeah. Very casual. Yeah, super casual. He's in second position. Ah, Toby Roberts, grab the foot. <laughs> It looks insane when you see it, but try it if you're in a gym. It does actually really help. Manu eyes this up. He came close before. Oh. How close can you get? Oh. And sliding down. 25 seconds to go. He's going to go again. Max can't find the balancing point. I have to keep an eye on a melody here as well. Solid on that move now. It's the third time at least she's done it. Gets the toe, brings the right up, kicking it on the wall. Six seconds there, it's not going to be enough time, I don't think. Nope. Looks like she was grabbing the blocker there with the right. I'm yeah. not sure it is a crimp. She tried to, but... Yeah, I'm not sure. Is it a blocker? I didn't take a good look I, at it. I think close. it is a blocker. Okay. But, well, no. I say that now. Now I'm looking at it. There's a lot of chalk around it. Well, darkness is dropping. The lights have been turned on in the stadium. And we're nearing and almost the end of our competition. Yeah, for the moment, the rain has stopped falling. It's good. Yeah. I think it's Hannah Moyle coming on on the right. Yeah, there she is. And Jean Monchon, well, he's done brilliant things on uh, men's two and three. So he's got one last chance to wow the crowd on M4. And so far, he's leading by an entire top. Yeah, true. Uh, not that many athletes to go either. Yeah. But lots to come through, so we'll see. So, right now, I think we have a gap on the men's side. 
because Kokoro has pulled out. Yes, you're very, yeah, so Kokoro had an injury, uh, elbow injury, got heavily taped up. I mean, I saw him leave Quali today thinking, there's no way that man's going to compete, and he didn't. It looked real nasty. Oh, no. He, it looked, he did it mid-boulder, immediately grabbed his arm and left, so it could be a tendon thing, we'll, we'll find out. Hopefully he heals quickly. Yeah. Oh, Machut. Oh. <laughs> Rotating through that Big left hand. Big barn door. Yeah. Yeah, about as big a barn door as you could get, really. Yeah. John is trying again on M4. Close with the paddle move this time. Right. Three minutes, 23 on the clock. A gap for the men. Two women to come out after Hannah. You're getting frustrated on that move. Miho <laughs> Nanaka, you can see her trying to figure out the sequence. Which way do I turn? How hard? <laughs> Catches the start with the toe, then turns it into a flat toe. <laughs> and as we know, the one hand method is way harder. Yeah. Uh, hopefully she figures it out. I think Machu hits his hands there all the way through. The mic's picking that up, but he gets the heel in. Maybe it hasn't numbed his fingers too much. So far he looks okay. Yeah. Right, he'll have a moment to shake out here, whatever. Oh, rotates through. I mean, that's the move Toby had to lift his own foot up. Mathieu with a different style. Yeah, his foot is on the... His foot was kind of on the bottom part of that volume, which means it's sloping away under his foot. Which it didn't slip, but it's a bit more risky. Poor Natalia has to do another jump. Tomorrow Narasaki looks casual as he rotates. That's the way I read it, is like that. Yeah, and now up to the little cramp. Yeah, but it's nasty shoulder move. <gasps> well, he holds on to nothing, what? as you do. And then Palms is going for the crimp, but... Oh, no, 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 but who needs the crimp? Oh, oh no! I, that was a bad idea, I <laughs> I don't think he'll do that again, but he's not holding on to very much. That's crazy. It really is. Right, It's John. so sloping. I don't think anybody's gotten that move yet. On M2. Uh, M4. Someone, M4, oh sorry, the M4. The one that Chan's doing. Yeah. All right, Miho, different method to get started. A bit quicker in. Yeah, tries the double move, dropping down to the zone. Matthew's still got time. Oh. <laughs> Straight back to the jog bag. He literally just went, whoa. <laughs> Narasaki there trying to use his thumbs to get extra friction. Matthew oh. shakes out that left wrist. It is a very wristy move rotating like that. Mm -hmm. Springs up as if by magic, gets the heels in. Camila Moroni is powerful on women's too, but can't figure it out. Right, he came very, very close. This low splits move. Bumps the foot above the seam. Oh, a bit low too, down on it, I think. Yeah, a wider pinch. just a bit too much swing. Yeah. Oh, oh Natalia again grimaces as she comes out. Such a fight from her this evening. Charm with six seconds to go, will not give up. And he says goodbye to his home crowd. As Camilla leaves the mats looking particularly angry there. Well, there's a lot of action going on in the semi-final and big props to everyone on the broadcast team here for missing as few tops as they have done. Really good work. Yeah, with eight climbers out there. Yeah. It's hard. It is very hard. Well, we had a break for the men because Kokoro Fuji had to pull out and now Dohyun Lee is on. Out qualified Jongwon. Jongwon literally told me that, uh, I said, people joke and say he's your, su your uh, son. And he looked at me, blank face, and said, yeah, he's my son. He's like, <laughs> he, he sees him as that. At least 
you see it, Dorfell on the right. Qualified really high up. She's having a great start to the season. It was impressive in Hachiochi as well. Yeah. I'm looking very strong this year. And Manu Kornu has another chance. He's third still. And on the far left is Stasha. So there is Dokyan Lee, as I said. Apparently, literally, John Won's son. And no, not actually. For anyone <laughs> it's a joke. It's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. a joke. But they do. I, I, he looks after him. He's kind of bringing him through on the circuit. Right, Max gets the left up. Makes it worse. First time for Max Mill. Or oh, second time, sorry. Jumps Ooh, the bottom. A crosses through, but misses it, and it's very shallow, just fingertips. Oh. Yeah, he reaches up to an invisible hole there. Yeah, maybe he needs to turn around and kind of match on top of his own hand for a second. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Super shallow, that pocket. Right, Tokianli, we flick back and forth, and there is uh, my, Sam, sorry, Sam Abazu. Ali, Sam, oh, the double. That's cool. Starts his TikTok style swing, looking yeah, outright. <gasps> oh. Parkour style as he kicks off the wall. Wow, he, he kind of landed on it with his left foot, not his right foot. Spinning too much, I guess. Yeah. Stashes into the dish. Oh, nice. Sticking that really hard first move there. Big pinch from her. Come on, Stasha. Oh, arms chicken winging slightly up. So powerful. She wants a brush. There's Oceana on her women's three. It's the 13th, the two zones. Right, here goes Matt. Come on, yeah. She is looking so strong, isn't she? Oh, so close. Max creeps up, gets it in, and then he's got to do this barn door palm. Ooh. Yeah, we say ooh because those kind of moves when you're rotating up, your feet flick high. And your face is... And your face is towards the mat. Yeah. yeah. Scary. Look at this for Sam Abazu. He kicks the left foot up. Come on, Sam. Prepares himself. Gets the left hand back on. Come on. No. No. Full commitment from Sam. Right, he brushes that last hole, making sure of it. Hello, Stasha. Stasha's on the nasty crimp. Come on. Up to the pinch. Sticks it. Really need to foot a bit higher with the right. Oh, nearly. <gasps> Manu, nearly. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's a very, very packed in semi final, this, and Stash has only got landed on there. Yeah. Right, Sam back on. 37 seconds to go for him. TikToks back and forth. Sam again drops down. Full commitment from him last time he tried this. Come on, yes! Those oh. thumbs playing their part. That was sheer force of will. Yeah, it really was. So that will help his score immensely. Oh, yeah. Oh, she doesn't get it. Oh, no. Oh, she was so close, too. <laughs> Oh, we're on our final athlete. Yes, we are. So Ayala Karem from Israel qualified in first position, had a great competition in Hachiochi. And she's someone who's just, it's, it's like watching her get better every single competition. She was strong last year and she's forced to be reckoned with at the moment. And then Mejdi Shalki won last uh, competition, gold medal for him already. He was super disappointed not to have read M4 last week. Came back, did it in his <laughs> trainers after it had finished. 
Yeah, that was very unfortunate nobody read that boulder because it was a really cool boulder. I, yeah. yeah. There was a lot of debate about that, but yeah. if the route setters don't try new things, the athletes don't learn new moves. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm not going to give my opinion. There's enough opinions given already about that one, but it, that was how Mejdi took victory last week. So, there is Ayala on the right. Oh, and it was straight away, Mejdi's <gasps> in and up. Flash that. He's been working his socks off during the off-season, almost crimped. <gasps> Look at this, is this a flash? It is a flash. <laughs> well, there's a new slab master in town, Hannes van Dyson stepped back. <laughs> that was so cool. Medj, he is in another level at the moment. And did it in a very different way than Tamoa and... Uh, I'm sorry, I forget the other person. Nikolai? Did Oh, you put good spot, yeah. Samoa asked for a brush. We'll, we'll see a replay of the bottom of Mejdi's boulder here. Let's have a look. So, this was a flash, remember? Up with the right foot. His head's immediately facing over towards the right. There it is. Finds the balance wow. somehow with the palms. Then drops down with the foot. Look at this for a flash, and then the top we know, well, from there, he didn't make a mistake, palming down. Looks like a different boulder when he does it. Yeah, sorry, my bad. It wasn't Nikolai, it was Manu Cornu, the first person to do this boulder. Uh, but both Manu and Tomoa got their left foot up on the zone to do that last move, and Mishi just stood up real slow on that really bad right hand. It was very impressive for him. Mejdi is looking a little unbeatable right now, but long way to go, of course. Camilla Moroni, she was pretty angry at herself after uh, women's two. Tomorrow Narasaki climbs out of his screen, now we rotate. And Hannah looking irritated in women's two, but oh, Tomoa pops. Natalia grinds herself through, trying to push towards the left. Just dual techs over there, though. It's blind as well. Oh, that's very wrestly. Yes, yeah, super thuggy, isn't it? Not sure. I don't remember how Annie managed to get up. That is so much gone on. Look at that. Well, that tells the story. Not many tops. And Zhang Wanchon, though, at the top of the leaderboard still. Yeah. But keep an eye on Mejdi. He's just flashed Boulder 1, so he might be running his way through the ranks. Tomoa once again through the double jump. High split move. <laughs> Rotates towards the crowd, fist pumps. Natalia <laughs> goes again, a minute left on the clock. Ayala is on the slab still. I'm not sure if she's got a zone yet. And Matthew Turner is finishing off his boulder final. No, so no zone yet for Ayala. Press and a kick, looking frustrated. I wonder how these are, and Hannah as well, looking pretty annoyed as she looks up at women's two and leaves the mats early. No tops, no zone so far for her. Well, we said we might see some surprises in this semi-final slash final, mm -hmm. and we are so far. Tomoa Narasaki for the men, just jumps above John. Followed by Manukonu Meshishak. Yannick Floe in the top six. Well, I really want to see somebody do M4, sorry. <laughs> yes, no, I agree with you. I want to too. You're reading off the scores and I'm thinking about something completely No, no, different. you are right though, because I keep forgetting about M4 because we've hardly seen much of it, because yeah. no one's really getting close. Yeah. Miho Nanakali 
leads away for the women. Oriane Bertolt, but Rabatou make up our top three. That'll be a heck of a comeback for Miho if she does that. Yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. She shows how strong mentally she is, you know. To be able to have a disappointing competition and come back and be at the top spot is very good. We see a door fell, so I ran out of adjectives there. Good was about as much as I could say. <laughs> Sam Abazu on his final boulder. You see a door fell on a second. I think you can be excused that the cold and the wind and the, the rain. Thank you. Hello. Making the brain I appreciate it. slow down. It doesn't need much for me. <laughs> Lucia gets the toe, tries to find it, almost tucking her own pinky. Come on, Max. Or... That is, yeah, go Max, on, Max. Yeah. Yeah. I love this kind of a move. Get set up for it. Jumps. Oh, no. the left, though. Yeah, just a little higher. Yeah, you can see the smear of rubber left by other climbers on that dual tech down on the bottom. I think there might be a chip on that. I think that's why there's... Yeah, you might be right. So much rubber. Come on, Sasha. Ali. Oh, one hand on each. Yeah, Sasha's got zones, but no tops. Dohyun Lee as well, not the best start to his comp on that slab, couldn't find the zone. And Ocean, her final boulder, 13th, that's going to be a PB for her if she stays there. Mm, oh, is it? No, I, I say that. finals <laughs> Yes, you're right. Meiringen came fourth or fifth? Sixth was her, okay. was her best. Oh, she had a really, yeah, she was really strong in that competition. Yeah. Right, Max is start, is, uh, gets started again. Come on, Max. Big swings from him as he catches with two hands. Now, watch the left foot. He's on what we think is a chip. Didn't get high enough before. Now he does. Yes. Come on, Max. Just though with the right, it's just fingertips. starts the TikTok. Oh, that was really interesting from him. Drops in, has a rest. Yeah, the sort of left hand pressing as he came down. That was nice. <gasps> oh, we lost oh. the left. He's got plenty of time, but yeah, I think he seems to lack, lose a bit of concentration there. Sort of took his. You could see it as he moved his eyes away from the foot, it popped. Yeah. I think he was in... Maybe on the a scene a, a bit? I don't know. Yeah, he was a bit of a shorter athlete, so I think being in that quite extended position, it's hard to stay there, I'm sure. Well, everyone rests. We get a brief pause here. Stasha kind of got a left foot caught there underneath the volume. Right, things getting tense here as we near the end of the field. Lucia crosses through powerfully. Oh, she made that heel stick on that volume. Was good work from really her. Good. Now, which method will she use for the top? Remember Brooks insane high heels. Lucia crimps, bumps. <laughs> Doyoung no, can't make the move either. A minute to go. Right, Max needs to find some height on this jump. Come on, Max. Just again. That right hand is so close to falling. Yeah. Stash is near the top as well. You can just see her right foot on the screen. I think she fell. Max drops in. Right, now he'll have a breathe and a shake-out. Oh, uh, Tries to get the left, yeah. he does. Come on, Max. Right. Go on. Got to spring off the left and the right, changing direction, <gasps> does. Oh. Didn't quite have that pinch, and Stasha goes So yeah, Stasha's heels. been wrestling up here the whole... <gasps> Go number eight, she looks at her hands. Oh, hang on, Doyon is powering through. 
trying for a buzzer beater moment. So hang on, was Stasher on the boulder the entire time from when I said she... Yes, her wow. foot was there. Yeah, she was uh, wrestling with that heel the whole time. I was kind of peeking out from behind our monitor. Wow, awesome work from her, but couldn't get it. And that's, yeah. again, our top three. Tomo Narasaki, Jean Monchon, Manu Kornu make up our medal positions. But that man on the left of your screen might have something to say about that. He flashed the slab. Mm -hmm. And he's good at these kind of moves. So I'm excited to see him on this boulder. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see him on M4 when he gets there. Yeah, well, and Narasaki tomorrow right yeah. now, yeah. Ayala Karem, she didn't manage a zone on the her slab. She'll want something out of this. Really chilly here in the stadium now as Ayala spins. Close. And I, I know Yone Kruder for one was really excited by this comp because of the cold. He was saying how he was like couldn't wait for the friction. <laughs> It's a nice change. Most World Cups are so hot, so sweaty. And Hannah Moyle jumps. Ooh, almost sticks that first one. Yeah, to kick off for the left. I think this is Medjid's first goal on this. It is, yeah. So this is his flash attempt. Second, looks like. Oh, sorry, second, you're right. Strong work from him as he matches now, aims towards the pockets. Hannah gives herself some encouragement on the right. Just a little hesitation before yeah. he went. Yeah, you have to be so precise on that pocket. Camilla, with zones only, needs a top hit. 14 for the moment. There's a lot of the same gesture going on, which is kind of a, a what? <laughs> a lot of the athletes. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. Hannah uses liquid chalk, which I don't think she often does actually, so maybe it is a bit sort of getting a bit wet out there. Ayala with this cross through move, strong from her, she brings the foot immediately up above her head. Come on Ayala. Drops it and we'll look for this pinch. Come on. Strong with the thumbs with this next move. It, real power endurance boulder, this. Yeah, with really bad holds. Yeah. She's good at power endurance. We'll find a little bit of a respite here, but not for long. Gets a high heel. The hold is really bad, as we know. I think she was just running out of time with her arms. Yeah. She's going to have to move that away from Tamoa as well, which she does. As you said, Tomo would enjoy this. He's sitting in first. He's running away with this comp at the moment. Medji hasn't done anything else. He holds his left elbow. Yeah, that left arm press there must be very hard on the arms. The elbows. Okay. Yeah, very physical. Judges down at the front have a long look. Hannah shaking out the pump, as is Mechdi. Good work from Hannah, right, she's into his zone. And that is her first zone, actually. Oh, wow. Not the best comp from Hannah at the moment, but this will give her a boost. Static into it. Wow. And there's the smile. No barn door from her, static into that final move. Yeah. Happy, but also looks a little frustrated about the rest of her round so far. Come on. Yeah, she's got high standards at the moment. Ayala wrestling her way into that dish, into the pinch, power endurance all the way. She gets a heel. Ayala bumps out, gets the extension, uses the thumbs quicker with the feet now. And I think she'll look to just jump straight into it, maybe bump with the left foot. I don't think she's got the power to bump the left yeah. foot up. Come on, Camilla. Oh, that looks so hard. 
Ahead. Just for a sec, yeah, the camera slowly pans down to meet her. Ayala leaves. Tomoa can't get it done, and I don't think Mejdi could either, though he came close, he got the zone. Let's watch Mejdi, shall we? He was off camera at the time. That was the zone. He goes up for the sloper straight away, and then, oh, he must have come close then. Dropped back oh. down to the big pocket. That was an interesting. Back to the sloper. Oof, how? Okay, so he dropped the final move then. That was what the shout was from the audience. Yeah. How did he drop this? So maybe powering out after all that. Oh, there's a, there's a fire off with the right. Yeah, that looks super awkward. The volume's really pushing his hips out from the wall. Uh, must have been a lot of pressure on that right hand on yeah. that small crimp. Well, it was a zone, and that's going to keep him in intention, in contention, intention, contention. He moves up to bronze. Wow, yeah, with two two bolters left to go. Yeah, and this is Max Mill in tenth, two zones. Coming up to 8 p.m. here in South Korea. If you're just joining us, you've missed an exciting semi-final slash final as the athletes battle for podium places. Things delayed due to heavy rain in the schedule, which meant we had to cancel the final and use the semi-final as the lead final. That's what's going on, that's why it's carnage, but it's very enjoyable. Do Hyun Lee with the jump. Into the pinches, he starts to kick over, lands on the yellow volume. He just got a toe against all the big slip. A drop me, wow. No hands. <laughs> Don't, oh, he nearly overbalanced, hyping the, he is overbalancing. Come on. Come on. Well, it doesn't matter because he's topped it out. <laughs> Doi Hyun Lee. <laughs> Amazing. Great top. Yeah, he, he kind of waved to the crowd and almost shook himself off the hold. Yeah, that was scary. <laughs> oh, come on, Sasha. Oh, yeah. Sasha with matching. That was good foot pressure there. She didn't cut loose like some of the other athletes yeah. we've seen. She's got two minutes 50 on the clock. Oh, really wedging her feet in there. Her foot. Her foot. Oh, oh. Try to then bring a left heel into play. She's gonna find a brusher somewhere. Just somebody brush. Right, so Max Mill starting M4. This big jump. He's had two attempts so far. You see it looks for the jump. Two hands, left hand on the zone. Uh, just get, needs to get that left foot kicking up to the volume there. Yeah, touching that zone is not enough. You've got to use it. You can't just slap it like she did. So everyone taking this moment to rest. Stash is out there on the mats. Max is resting as well. The crowd is packed in despite the rain, which has now stopped again. <laughs> Seems to be in a cycle, this rainstorm. Kind of stopped. Yeah, still lightly raining, but yeah. very light. Max falls. You can hear Team GB screaming at him. He brushes that flat hole. No one has done M4. And no one's even got the first move. Right, Stasha rested for a long time, crosses through with the left hand. He's a bit of a knee there, pressing the toes. Oh. Kicks and kicks again. You see it, Karma, she looks at the beginning of her boulder. We tried to use the side of the array, sorry, the volume, but it's been blocked for a reason. Two hands on, but not quite high enough. Yeah. 
27 seconds left on the clock. Stasha goes again. She's got the zone, all zones. Wild swing from her. She matches. Go straight up, go straight up. <laughs> oh no. I was hoping she would see Orient's crazy beta from the very early on. I thought that was the only beta she would have a chance to do with like 15 seconds. Yeah, <laughs> because if you'd have to dodge some holes with less time. Yeah, yeah. Stasha powers out, she goes. And our top three, well, Mejdi is into the bronze medal positions. Is he guaranteed a medal here? Are we starting to get towards that time? Yeah. He's been hearing it. Ariane Berton still in second. Yeah, maybe not quite, actually. I think I was yeah. wrong about that, but... Samoa has just walked past our commentary box and gave me a very determined nod with his head, like a, yep, job done. <laughs> well, so far it is. Yeah, Oriane's beta, you're right, on M4. I've kind of forgotten about that. Yeah, that was a while ago now. <laughs> yes, exactly. She, she came, came out, out early. fourth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so maybe she's not guaranteed a medal now, but uh, because both... Runs across yeah, the slab. Yeah, Lee Dohyun and you have more boulders to climb. So. Okay, so things not in the bag yet, but yeah. if he can get this done, it might be. So, heel, toes down. He's going to do that Manu corner. Oh, he's not, sorry. Matches, goes out where it's... Oh, nearly lost it. <laughs> and now he matches. We know the kind of pinch strength required to get this done. Rotates. He's almost fallen off about four times here. Now brings the left, kicks it up underneath. He's not properly on that. He's underneath the seam at the moment. Oh, come on, Mishi. Ali, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he does get it. Yeah, kicks the wall in celebration. That man is something else right now. That is first position, jumping into gold. Guaranteed gold medal for him now. That's no. exactly, look, he knows it as well. I think he's just realized that is a guaranteed gold, which means it's a victory lap for Mejdi. Awesome from him. Wow. Well, sorry, no. no? I'm a little bit wrong. If Lee Do Hyun flashes the last boulder and Mejdi does not get a... Okay. No, Mejdi will still win on... I think it is. Zones. I mean, his celebration looked like yes, he'd been no, given it, I, I think. think Brilliant top for me. It looked like he'd fallen off about three times, four times, I think I said, and then somehow pulled it back and then won a gold medal. So, you know. <laughs> and Ayala wants a brush. Need a bit snappier from our brushes, I think, out there on the mats at the moment. Everyone getting sucked into the competition. Hannah Moyle gets stood, pops towards the right. And it's pouring rain again. It is bucketing down, yeah. This storm is definitely in a cycle around the mountain above this arena. Yeah, this is the worst it's been all night, actually. It is, well, oh, I think... Ayala! Sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, Ayala got that done. Oh, gonna go with the Hannah beta? No, Miho beta. Yeah, Hannah beta certainly safe. Come on. She's gonna jump. No. Oh. <laughs> Great from her. And the relief of finally getting a boulder done is palpable. She falls awesome on women's three. Right, she's on the score, but look at what that does to her score. Straight up to sixth and 14. Yeah. Hannah will be wanting to repeat the same kind of thing. She's in sixth at the moment. Seventh now, because Ayala's now in sixth. Yeah, we'll yeah. wait for those scores to be updated, I think. And there they are, yeah, seventh. Oh, it's a nice little pirouette. It is, landing. yeah. I don't think I've seen Hannah this frustrated before. No. She tends to work through the frustration and turn it into tops, but this, she's having a battle out there. And you can see now, yeah, the crowd is who has been stoic, to be fair to him, throughout. Some are now leaving because it is bucketing down. Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame them. I'm very glad we're a bit sheltered in the, the tent here. This is why you wanted to do it. You predicted the future, as you'd have to be out there underneath an umbrella. Yes. <laughs> Last year, I think I commentated women's finals and then men's finals was right after. Yes. And we had no rain jackets with us because we didn't 
look at the forecast. We yeah. didn't know it was going to rain. I think we had to leave because we were so cold. Yeah, I didn't bring enough clothes for this comp. Yeah. I will admit that. Right, anyway, Hannah gets <laughs> stood up. More important things. Yes, more important <laughs> yeah. things than my shivering. So, Hannah is standing. Now she'll go this jump. Will she go one hand or two hands? Come on, Hannah. It's one hand and a fall. That figure is pretty much the story of what she's feeling right now. Final oh. bottle for Hannah, final chance. One more go, come on. She is seventh though, I mean she can be disappointed, but seventh in the world, still from her, it's strong. Yeah, but her standards are silver medals as of last week, so. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, Hannah's comp is done as she leaves towards the edge. Driving rain here in the stadium. Look at that though, still smiling faces going on. Medj D. Schalk up there at the top spot, followed by Tamara Nasaki and John Wan Chom will take bronze at the moment. The athletes cross each other in the middle, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> so if Lee Dohyun. You'd think they'd send them on from the opposite end, wouldn't you, rather than having to run all the way over? Yeah, but. it's a lot of, a lot of running. Eh? But anyway, so Dohyun. Dohyun is. Currently, so Lee Do Hyun is currently in fourth with one top, and if he gets a, a top on this boulder, it'll move him definitely onto a podium position. Wow, what exciting times. Can he beat his adopted dad <laughs> to the bronze medal as the rain falls? Look at it in the light. Well, you can't see it in the lights, but it is falling in the lights. So, this year, 17th at the moment with a zone. Qualified high up this semi final. Now she presses up into the starting position. Yeah. Not having the same round or as good of a round as she did in qualifiers, unfortunately. No, not so far. Joining Hannah with a disappointment on this one. Oh, you know what? He's not far off. <laughs> Cameras covered by umbrellas on the bottom of your screen there. Eh? All we really need to worry about is the wall itself getting wet by uh, soaking through the roof. And so far, no one's concerned by that. So we're okay here in the stadium. All we need is eight minutes and 15 seconds, yes. or eight and a half minutes. It's well, fine, it'll come in a cycle. It'll, it'll, yeah, it'll yeah, give yeah. us that. We're all good. So, Dohan takes a moment to rest for three minutes on the clock. Crimsard jumps, right hand just over the top. And Sia goes again. Definitely getting closer. Yeah, that beat and not seen too often successfully. Mm -hmm. Stasha was able to make it work. Yeah, she was. A few others, I think. Yeah, that's how bad the hold is you're going for. It looks different on camera, but it's flat. It's a big jump. Although they're not making it look big at all. It's a full body length of a jump. You see her, got closer last time. What can she do here? Crosses, gets <gasps> it, sticks it this time. Nice. But now the power endurance starts to kick in. There's so many hard moves after this. Feet pressing against the wall as she matches underneath. Holds the swing. Keeps the tension on that foot. Nice. Shake of her head there. Problem is, is once you've worked out that first move, you, I mean, you've got to have the power endurance to do the rest of it and try to read it almost first time. It takes a while to get into that first move. Mm -hmm. 
buzzer goes on M4. Penultimate athlete out tonight. And Lucia will go again. She's got 40 seconds though. It's not a lot of time on this. Looking a bit weary as she pulls up. She'll go again. Dayan Lee will go again. He wants another brush. He's oh, trying to get the zone. 20 seconds left. I guess he's just going for his own now. Yeah. yeah. It's got to be, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, again and again, throwing himself. No. All right. Well, we will see our final athletes. Mejdi, remember, has a gold already. He's doing a victory lap now. Yeah. It would be great to see him do this last boulder or even the first move. The last boulder. Maybe we'll just come out and sit on the mats and just wave at the crowd. Who knows? <laughs> I think I might do that. Oh, I hope he doesn't do that. He, he won't do that. Do a comedy routine or something instead. Well, the athletes cross in the middle. Ayala going left, Mejdi going right. And Ayala's currently sitting in sixth with one top and two zones. So another top here could uh, would put her on a, on the podium. So all to play for for her. Meanwhile, Mejdi is just going to enjoy this. Ayala drops the chalk bag. So let's see how Ayala does this. Ooh, she nearly overbalanced trying to almost look around the corner. Ooh. <laughs> and rolling out of it. Nice. Stylish. Right, let's see what he can do. The camera turns to him. Start thinking of some questions, Alana. You're going to be interviewing that man soon. <laughs> Ooh, close. Ayala gets stood up. And that means Miho as well as yeah. guaranteed gold. So yeah, that's wow. I mean what I said it would be an incredible comeback from her and it is. And Oriane Berton with that beta breaker of a final boulder. Well, uh, Miho's actually not Oh not guaranteed the gold. Well if Ayala does this boulder. Okay, well because Miho has a lot of attempts. Okay. Was as close as you get. He really wants to get this. He's the kind of guy who'll probably go back and try it after the comp if he hasn't done it. So, you know, just to save himself some time, he might as well get it done now. Oh, yeah, got as evidence from last week. Exactly. He was so annoyed, genuinely. There's a guy I interviewed him after. He was just like, yeah, yeah, it's good, but I wish I got the, <laughs> the final climb. That's the story of the women's cup. Annie Sanders, look at that, fifth for her as well. Yeah. So she's had four attempts so far. Misses, she wants a podium place. Meanwhile, he just wants to do this boulder for funds. Eyes it up, the big spring. Almost looks impossible, doesn't it? Yeah. It's such it's a nasty. Really hard. They're yeah. they're jumping like really far and backwards to a bad hold, which they then have to paddle off of. Yeah. And swing the foot. Yeah, and the next hold's better, but it's not that much better. It's I mean it's a bit positive, but I got a somersaulting forwards and backwards. Minute 35 of tonight's semi-final slash final to go. I think he just wants to get it for the crowd who've stayed in the rain to watch him. He actually That's might not know that he's won. Already. I think he, he had a real big celebration coming off that boulder. I think I think he did. Someone definitely 
made a fist bump in the air or something at him. And also, they, the athletes get to see the... Well, I didn't realise this. They get to see the scores between boulders now. This is not the final round. Oh, true. Maybe it's semi-finals. different semis. Yeah, 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 right. is full ISO. Ah, OK. So, yeah. He, yeah. But Technically, he doesn't know, but there's a good chance he knows. Yeah, I mean, he had Just a, by reaction. Yeah, exactly that. I think, yeah. I think the French team reacted and he saw it. Yeah. Right, well, the crowd's reaction is just a hype up, I think. Yeah, nothing. Nothing's happening. <laughs> it's again she threw it. Oh, but the, that reaction was because Medjdi almost got it. He was close. Yeah, probably the closest we've seen yet. Oh, we switched back to Ayala. It's very important for her, this boulder. So I guess she is who we should be following. And crosses through and misses, and that might be her done. Let's have a look at him. So left crimp. He came close. This is his last throw at this. Oh. Well, that is it. He still wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds, one second. He might as well just jump, even if it's not on the clock. He does. <laughs> Well, unlucky from him, but what? Incredible. Second gold in a row. Yeah. Very impressive. Very, very cool. Well, I said it last week. I'll say it again. I know his dad is jumping up and down somewhere. He's not here this weekend, but he is watching. We're going to see that close try. So the one that the crowd reacted to, we didn't get to see. Here it is. Oh, he was fully on it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Just at the last second there. Such a small hole he's going for. I mean, yeah, I said it was a bit positive. It is, but it's teeny tiny. A bit, in quotation marks. Yes, a, a bit, bit. A bit, exactly. Well, that is the end of our competition. We'll get confirmation of the results on the screen. Miho Nanaka takes gold. Two tops in his own for her. Oriane Berton, second place. Two tops with an amazing beat a break on Boulder 4. And then Brooke Rabatou in third place. Battled hard. Disappointed it wasn't a gold, but a good performance from her. Two quick sends of the first two climbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes two medals in two weeks for her. <laughs> it's not, not a bad Asia tour. Pretty successful, I'd say. And then I'll be lead down after that. And on Matsu Fuji. And then Anastasia Sanders or Annie Sanders. Natalia Grossman struggling with injury, but a brilliant battle from her to even appear in tonight's final. I Mori disappointing down at the bottom. No tops, no zones from her. Very dynamic round. True, yeah. She struggled. And then Mejdi, second gold in a row for him. Two tops in a zone. Tomoa Narasaki, brilliant silver medal. Jong Won Chon in front of his home crowd just beats his teammate Do Hyun Lee to a podium place for the bronze medal. That's the story. Manu Kornu, great from him in fifth. As we go down, Max Milne and Kokoro Fuji. And Alana, thank you so, so much for joining us uh, here today. I'll say goodbye. Don't come back in the rain. You go. But thank you so much. It's been a pleasure as always. Thank you. It was fun. <laughs> See you later. Bye. And Kokoro Fuji, no scores for him as he uh, did not compete due to injury. So as Alana makes her way down to the lead wall area for the interview. Oriane looking ecstatic down there in the front. She did well to get into semis after last week and has converted that to a medal, which is what her coach has wanted. <laughs> I don't know what she's run off to though. She's <laughs> just <laughs> not sure what happened there. Maybe Oriane forgot something, but anyway, she's gone to get it, whatever it was. And first place is still blank at the moment as we wait. Well, certainly an entertaining semi-final slash final for us here this evening. It's pretty cold here in the stadium now. That rain that's gone round and round and round is starting to ease off a bit. But as we know, it will come back <laughs> as it has done throughout this evening. And we are now waiting for the flower ceremony, the interviews, and then finally the podium to wind things up. Do go back and have a look at the qualifying results on YouTube. Sometimes less of a highlight, those are more of a, a summing up of what happened earlier on. 
especially for the men this morning. Didn't have a lot of time between the quali finishing and the uh, final starting, so more of a results video that one. Now Orion's back. <laughs> and Mihona Naka is over the moon, look at her. Gold hair to match a gold medal. And being congratulated is Mejdi. And look, <laughs> hugging his teammate, yeah. <laughs> everyone congratulating everyone else. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Oriane is very, very happy. Ceremony, the ceremony for the medal ceremony for the IFS is all climbing world. Well, we're going to flick to the flower ceremony now. Oriane's in tears. <laughs> and first Overwhelmed. Meet the flower ceremony of the medalists. Brooke looks happy to pick up another medal to her growing collection of medals. <laughs> Orihan, really, really emotional down there. Let's have a look at Medjid's amazing boulder too, shall we? The medalist for the bouldering climbing. So this was the uh, the heel into the deep pocket up to the sloper, found the shallow pocket, dropped back down, so many moves in here. Again, what is he holding onto with the left hand? Very little, goes up towards the crimp, campusing off nothing towards a crimp. The bronze medal is Lovett Brood from tonight. Gets a toe in, but this final move was too much for him, just out of reach, as close as you can get, fingertips in, but no time. Well, flower ceremony time. I'll shut up for a bit as we listen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the gold medalist and the winner of this tall IFSC Climbing World Cup 2023 Woman Bouldering, Monaco Mihal from Japan. Flower, well, flowers are awarded. Podium to come in a bit. We do the men's flower ceremony next. Alana will be down there somewhere at the front, waiting with a microphone in hand to catch the winner. Winners. On that exact background, in fact. Well, he'll enjoy this moment. Bronze medal for him. And now the silver medalist, Narasaki Tomoa from Japan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the gold medalist and the winner of this tall IFSD Climbing World Cup 2023, Salat Mehmi from France! Well, they are our podium finishes. Medjidi with his second gold medal in a row. <laughs> right, well, in a couple of minutes or seconds, perhaps, we will go to the front of the stage for Alana's interview. Now, we're going to go to the front of the stage. 
Athletes with trousers on instead of shorts. It's getting chilly out there. And they're just being instructed the next thing. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, now the medal award will be held after the interviews of the gold medalist. Right, well, you can hear and you see the rain in your screen falling. It's been consistently falling throughout this evening. And once again, we have a look at our results. Miho Nanaka, what a win for her. A bounce back, a comeback for another gold. Ariane Berton, so emotional down at the front, mainly when Reggie walked on, really. And then Brooke Rabatou in third position. Incredible. Very interesting to see this semi final slash finals format. I don't mind it, to be honest. Perhaps less dramatic, but so much going on. The rest of the women down at the bottom. A hard round of bouldering, as indicated by the scores. Erin McNeese, good work from her. Luciana McKenzie. For the men, Mejdi, second gold for him. Tomoe Narasaki in silver, and Wonchon in third. That's the podium finishes for the men. Toby Roberts did well, done in eighth. Remember, this will count as rankings. Nikolai Uznik in the top six. South Korea getting two athletes into the top five. Good work. And Kokoro Fuji didn't compete due to an elbow injury. He was heavily taped up after the qualifying round. Did it mid-round. Immediately grabbed his elbow, so we wish him the best of luck and recovery. Same with Italia, who was fighting an injury as well. And the waterfall has just turned on here in the States. As if we need, it, need enough water, there's more water pouring in. Right, well, that's our camera getting set up for the interview, and I'm being told we're very, very close. We've just got to organise the athletes and everyone into the same position. Like herding cats, that lot. Alberto Hines Lopez as well, impressive in 15. The bounce back for him. Hannes van Dyson, last week's silver medalist, almost proved to be the slab master once Ladies again on the slab number one, but he put it all together this time. I think he might have handed the crown over to Medjdi. The medal award will be held after the interviews of the gold medalist, so please be positioned for the podium. You just see the waterfall in the background. I think that's the podium, actually, we're looking at. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the waterfall doesn't always run. It's not a proper waterfall. Don't tell anyone I said that, but it is a fake waterfall. Three fake waterfalls, in fact. They get turned on at times that I can't quite work out. When they do, it is it's very beautiful. Cascade down the mountain from above. And right now, they're dropping out of the darkness into the light of the stadium. And the lights just catch that tumbling water. Right, let's go to the front of the stage where Alana is waiting with one of our winners. And let's find out some more from them. Meiji, congratulations. Two gold medals in two weeks. How do you feel? Uh, I think I don't really realize what happened now, but yeah, it's just crazy. I just came here, like, I wanted to do my best and climb and have fun, and yeah, it's crazy. I don't really realize it, actually, I think. It's um, a bit of a strange format for a finals because it was really a semi-finals. Did you know? 현재 구준 날씨에도 계속해서 끝까지 이번 대회를 성원을 보내주시고 있는 여러분께 Did you know that you had one after you did the third boulder? 다시 한번 안내해 드리겠습니다. 잠시 후 메달 소개해 드릴게요. I didn't know. But um, when I saw all my coaches and my team, they look at me and they say me like, it's win, it's win. And so I knew, yeah, when I went back to the isolation. Unfortunately, it looks like you won't get a chance to do that final boulder now that it's gotten taken down, unlike last week, but congratulations again. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it's my style, but yeah, next time I will be back stronger. Thank you.
Well, thank you to Alana. That was his reaction to that. Yeah, he would be a bit disappointed not to get that final boulder done, but I think a gold medal is consolation for him. Well, we're waiting for Miho Nanaka, who will be uh, somewhere down at the front having a good time, enjoying that gold medal. And that is a podium, and the waterfall still going on in the background, tumbling down the hills. Bit of a shaky camera there. It's just, I think, the uh, the box it's standing on. Everyone still hiding from the rain under umbrellas. The camera guys are running around trying to protect the cameras. It's all go. Right, let's go down to Miho Nanaka and find out her reaction to that win. Miho, congratulations. It's so great to see you climbing so well back on the top step of the podium. How do you feel? Uh, I'm so, so happy. I'm delighted to win this gold medal. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I've competed for so long and it's it's been five years since I last won at the Bouldering World Cup. So, <laughs> yeah, it feels crazy. I'm happy. I'm not just me. I'm sure everyone is so happy for you. Did you feel that with this finals format that's I mean it was really a semi-final was it any less or any more pressure on you than a normal final mm, I mean I didn't really feel difference I just uh, try to focus on like each boulders and try my best and it worked really well so yeah I'm glad <laughs> congratulations again well there we go Words from Miho Nanaka, five years since her last boulder gold, so all those feelings coming washing back over her. Again, pretty emotional down at the front of the stage. Well, everyone will now go or change positions down towards that position, which is the podium, which is hidden behind the audience who have gathered. Oh, we've got some sparklers. That's exciting. But they immediately stopped. It was exciting. Perhaps we'll see more sparklers. Would be cool to have a big send off to this double header in Japan last weekend. Pretty crazy to think that actually. <laughs> really traveling around the world. We head off to Jakarta, well, some of us do anyway, for the Speed World Cup. Just the Speed World Cup next. Last year they hosted the lead and speed, but this year it's just the speed. And then a bit of a break before Salt Lake City. The everything rounds. <laughs> Paracliming in action speed and boulder so excited for that one I wonder if the waterfall has been turned on specifically for this moment which probably means someone has a button I would like to find that button well we wait expectantly for our athletes the flower ceremony is just part of this proceedings the proper medals the check and the prizes are to come Some audience members hiding from the rain by looking at the boulders. A lot of athletes out there as well just trying to figure out sequences. I always quite like that, that uh, they get the chance to do that. I tell you what, let's have a look at Miho Nanaka's journey through, and especially boulder number three. So this was the big jump into the zone, a little raise of the right hand to balance herself. Finds the pinches, kicks the right leg up. She did it dynamically as well, had to use the toes in. Hannah Moyle did it very, very differently through that top sequence. And that meant a lot to Miho, as you could see. <laughs> Might have been a tear there already. <laughs> Held the barn door well to finish that climb. Tricky boulder, that tricky minster now, out, but... Well, there we go, it's announced, the I think. Boulding, it's time for our podium, so we'll listen we'll in now. as the medals are awarded. Sponsors' logos lit up there by the lights.
I can see the dignitaries standing in the rain. They won't want to stand there long, so I think we're underway. The bronze medalist, Labut Brook from the United States of America. And silver medalist, Berto Moriani from France. And the champion, Nonika Miho from Japan. A bronze medalist representing the United States of America, Labut Brook. Three women on the top spot of the podium. Brooke gets her medal awarded. There's, I think that's, is that the check? Might be the check. Nope. The check comes after. Bronze medal for Brooke. Silver medalist representing France, Benito Moriani. Very emotional, Orian Berton, but this lady will be more emotional. Miho Nanaka, after five years, will stand up tall on the top spot of the podium. Gold medal for her. Huge for her. As I said, a bit disappointing last week. What a comeback. What a result for that lady. The national anthem of Japan echo out through this stadium. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please raise and look at the screen behind for the national anthem of Japan. The screen will be the national anthem of Japan. Well, there we go. End of the national anthem, and the women will gather on the top spot for photo opportunities before the men are brought onto the stage for their moment in the spotlight.
Three women who really are at the top of their game. And at the moment, it's such an interesting season already, isn't it? Different winners. Semi-finals is finals. It's all go here in 2023, as it should be, as we build towards Paris 2024. And now, the final time for the medalists. Well, it's time for the men. They'll be waiting in the tents, keeping dry. Thank you to the audience who have stayed to watch this moment. It does make a big difference if we've got a nice packed stadium. Oh, more photos. Please show us a big smile. <laughs> Just adjusting it to the right position. Thanks, Brooke. Right, now they can leave. Now it's time for the men. Now, ladies and gentlemen. And he's a bit used to this by now. He's mentioned but he will stand at the top spot. The bronze medalist representing but he'll get a moment in front of his home crowd to enjoy and savour and remember forever. around his neck. Two finals in a row for John Wan as well. Samoa Saki on the comeback as well. Silver medal for him. He was in the lead for a long time. Almost did enough, but actually on another level at the moment. Yeah, double fist in the air, the sparklers go. Rain actually stopping for our men's podium. It'll be back, don't worry. <laughs> Means they get to stay dry as he celebrates with the crowd and finally medges out from France on the top spot once more, where he belongs at the moment. Came away from 2022, ground his way through the off season in the gym, and now he's taking his just deserves at the top spot of the podium.
Well, there we go. The medals are handed out. Mejdi conducts his way through the national anthem of France. And for a final time, they gather for the photos. And we'll say goodbye to South Korea for another year. Remember, Salt Lake City next weekend in Jakarta. And then we go to the USA for the next round of the World Cup. My name's been Matt Groom. Thank you so much for joining me and Alana Yip here in this wonderful stadium in Korea. I'll see you soon for the next competition. Thank you very much for watching.